post a thing stating that we are starting a new fort. New fort, same world. I'll also update both the titles on YouTube and Twitch. I guess I need to update a bunch of commands now too, don't I? In a butterfly effect kind of way? Oh yeah, absolutely. When one fort dies, another fort appears. Well, we know who our expedition leader is. It's Arende, clearly. Fair enough. I, yeah, I, I have no idea. I mean, I, I, I'm a little, I'm a little bit baffled if it's beyond Kit Fox to repair. That, that's the part that's a wee bit baffling to me. But, hmm. I mean, I'm sure there's some people out there that would be quite happy if the Bay 12 forums moved to a more modern architecture, but at the same time, yeah, I don't know. All right, well, let's find a faction that we recognize, right? So up until, excuse me, up until now, we've always played as the Emerald Irons. And every single time I play as the Emerald Irons, the population goes down. Currently, all they have left is Helixes, although Anaboth is still king, so I'll hail King Anaboth in that case. Zwari, I wish that you would just, like, jump into the sun one of these days, because, like, god damn it, you always do this at, like, the least opportune times. <laughs> that dad did magic cheese wheels undulate rhythmically on toast for what? Unaccompanied pants. All caught up. Um, now, we've always previously played as the Emerald Irons. What was your job? Well, congratulations, you've been dethroned. But you've been promoted to pilot, so that's good. Hey, Foul G. Good time. Good to see you. I, I tend to agree. Um, but I've definitely seen people, like, specifically in comment sections on YouTube, which, yeah, you know, aren't to be trusted and don't matter generally. Sorry, YouTube comments. Uh, but, uh, saying things like they, they should just not use forums or at other things like that. Anyway, so this is always the faction that we played all the way over here. This faction is largely dying. Uh, this is a more dead faction. <laughs> way more dead. Jesus. Puddle of Ores, population 61. I don't know. Um, Castle of Fellowship, 1600. 140 for the castle, for them. Uh, the Comedic Abbey has 140. This is a pretty well set up. Also, Light Galleys. That's a good last name. Veiled. This is one that I also, I see, I see visitors from the Veiled Halls pretty consistently. I have a question. Can I settle on that volcano? Ooh. 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 What do you have here? Literally nothing. Copper. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. I feel like I never see mount, like... I, I feel like I never see... Volcanoes with thick vegetation on them, on mountains. You know, I'm gonna do that that cheaty thing that I do sometimes, where I'm just gonna do it real quick and bark, and we're gonna we're gonna click play now. I just want to see what this looks like. You know, chat. Previously, we had Titty Fort. Fort. This is Florida Fort. Oh, that is incredible. It is is it isn't true a foot long fort. Yeah, that, that is absolutely true. Now that's Italy. Yeah, kinda. Wait, wait. 
I love how it's coming from TELUS, and it's like, suspected spam caller. It's TELUS's official helpline. That's very funny. Let's live here. You guys want to do a fort here? It only has copper. That's the problem. Actually, let's just unpause for a second. Pause again. What the animals are. Two humped camels. It's calm and it only has copper, but it's pretty close to goblins. Copper good? I mean, it's enough. Let's just take a peek at what else we got. Build a tower on the tippa. <laughs> on the tippa? Uh, the thing, Matt Cat, is we've done that already several times, so I'm pretty well acquainted with this world already, at the very least. I mean, since that was, what, the, the veiled something or another? Yeah, but it doesn't matter if you have no iron. Um, a lot of, of historical figures. Cobalt, Cobalt Town. I, I maintain that Cobalt Town still sounds like some British football team. From Volcano of Trampling. Mm -hmm. There it is. Veiled Halls. These guys. But yeah, I, I'm pretty well acquainted with this faction already, so... Although the Angry Demon is still a really funny name. The Orb of Castles is also a good name. So they're very much at war with the Angry Demon and the Low Fiend, which is two other goblin sieves. Although the Angry Demon is just a funny name for a, a goblin sieve. I've encountered them a couple times. I think they were stealing my stuff. Goblinite steel? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Don't mind me pondering my castle of orbs yet. Mm -hmm. We've got an elf who's a diplomat. All right. I'm just looking to see who the current, like, royalty actually is. Baron, 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 Baroness, Count. Lots of celebrations. There are enemies with a giant wolf. Is copper warhammer worthwhile? I would do copper spears or swords before I would do a warhammer. I would do sharp weapons if I all I had was copper. Also in an ad break briefly. I'm just mostly looking at who they're attacking. Barricaded ghoul as well. And they're mostly at war with goblins. All right, well. Bronze Warhammer, not bad. Yeah, bronze anything, not bad, actually. Um, You'll never see me use a melt exploit on this channel because I don't cheat. You're more than welcome to if you like. I'm good. <sighs> Bronze is almost steel? Historically, yeah. I mean, honestly, if I'm building a fort on a volcano, I'm probably not even gonna make weapons. Because <laughs> you have a volcano. Um, the, the only real concern is, can I find a lava-safe material? As long as you can find a single lava-safe material, do, why, why do you need anything else? You have a volcano. So this is that, that location. But if I skim around a little more, because, you know, we can always look at other options, of course. Roasted seals are pretty demolished. <laughs> Is that a good lake? No, it is not. It's just an untamed wilds lake. What other factions do we have? Rack of lobsters are pretty well equipped as well, and they are also very close to the volcano. So there's actually two dwarven sieves right here, because there's the rack of lobsters that are like this area, and then there's the much bigger faction that's in the same spot. So it's actually two different factions that are both near to this volcano. Rack Lobster, yes. By the... 
trying to think of like a dwarf equivalent of B-52. Okay, this could also be a pretty cool spot. Right here. What do you have though? Iron, silver, copper. So this has more min material variety. And is wilderness. And it's called the Land of Excavation. Mm. Let's just see what this thing looks like. Okay, that one's ugly. Not a fan. It does have another one of those funny little land spikes, though. Okay, may maybe not. Maybe now it's selling me on it. I do like the top of this bit. Flux Volcano sounds like the Dwarf Fortress equivalent of a Flux Capacitor. I'm mostly just not a fan of this bit down here, this area. Too jaggy. Yeah, same. That's that's another thing that I'm very much excited about. <laughs> it looks like giant cheeks. I'm not going to lie. I don't particularly want to start another fort in a location that you guys are going to be like, blind, that looks like a butt. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. I did that for like a month. <laughs> I don't want to do it again. <laughs> it's like, thank you. I, I, I can see that as well. Thanks for making it impossible to forget. <laughs> But blind, but chat. <laughs> Let's be honest, though. I did do that for like a very long period of time in Creature Keepers. For maximum butt shaped embarks. I mean, okay, so you know that. You can use images to generate height maps in Dwarf Fortress. At that point, why don't you just take like Goatsy or something and just like pfft, generate a world that looks like that? If you really, really, really want like a horrific, awful world, you could just do. Somebody in my chat once generated a world that looks like my face, which was very weird to look at in ASCII because this was a long time ago. I don't even have it anymore, but. It's probably in my DM somewhere if I dig. <laughs> Everything reminds me of her. It's chat that's doing that, not me though. So that was that one right there. I'm trying to think. I think uh not was it Boulder's Gate? I think it was Boulder's Gate was the last volcano fort I did. There's also like Okay, well, we already settled there. I'm wondering, is there any Interesting good biomes in this map, actually. Well, there's this whole temperate savanna, joyous wilds nonsense. I'm just kind of scanning, seeing what else is around. Scorching untamed wilds. What's the elevation to this? Not actually that much. I gotta say that elevation in ocean versus land looks really cool to me. Like that 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 does look really cool. Looks like something in Predator's vision. But yeah, that was that first one that we were looking at. So this rocky wasteland down here it has copper and the mountain also has copper so this would be doable there's also no aquifer there which would actually be really annoying for me some streams let's poke around it's pretty big rivers here like some proper rivers it's a minor river this river is thinks it's a dwarf. That's why it's a miner. Hmm. I wonder if dwarves will discover sailing soon. I doubt it. At least not soon. Anything else interesting up here? I mean, okay, so 
Chat seems to just want to do a volcano fort, but I'll be honest, chat always seems like they want to do a volcano fort. So there's a major river that's cold, which means it would freeze. That's actually kind of interesting. But there's like no elevation changes. So if I were to do this, actually, you know, if we're still on the quest to find cool goblin animals to kill, this might be a good one to do. This volcano with copper that I poked initially. And the reason I say it is it's because it's in the middle of one of the biggest factions in in the in this in this world, uh, which is the Veiled Halls. Right? It's right in the middle of the Veiled Halls. And it's also, if I zoom in, right click. Dane has travel north. These goblins it's at war with. So if we want to go to war with goblins and see mounts potentially, this would be a good place to do it from. There's also many dark goblin fortresses down here. Which was the point of this whole world, and we've admittedly done a terrible job actually doing that. Hey, there's another volcano. What's this one like? There's also the Rosy Cinders, which just has gold and some soil. But it's Untamed Wilds. Hmm. Do you want to test that one out? I could test that one out. This one has a, no a kobold site that is uh, a day's travel north. Oh, sorry, two days travel east. What is the thing that the... There's a goblin fort right there. Human fort. What? what? Goblin town. Kobold fort! Frizzrolgen! <laughs> Found a kobold fort. Cheers, Paxmack. Let's let's see what this one looks like. No flux, just gold. It's a freaking volcano. You don't need anything aside from the volcano. Maybe bone bolts. I just want to know what this area looks like. All right, that's a pretty nice slope. Big flat area. Not nearly as dramatic as the that other one with copper. It's got apricots. I mean, it would be very high value. Oh, also lots of sand on this one. Not a big fan of like how plateau-y this is. There is a puddle there, which is nice. There's no haunted volcanoes, no. I don't really want to do a haunted biome, mostly because I don't find them particularly hard. I just find them really, 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 really annoying. Um, so I really have to be bribed into doing volcano forts. Not in this world, though. Wait, hold, hold on. I said this is Untamed Wilds, right? Let's unpause for a sec. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, Harpies? Really? <laughs> Needs giant salt. Needs rock salt. What else is on the map? Anything else? There's just a singular giant slug. And a giant hedgehog. So this place has giant hedgehogs and giant slugs. Sanic! Your tutorial for it showed up on a haunted biome? Oh no. Your dogs kept resurrecting? Oh no. Charlie refused to die. <coughs> yeah, I just find haunted biomes to be tedious. I mean, I'll, I'll play them if everybody's like, blind, play haunted biome. I'll do it. But currently, I'm, I'm not exactly in the mood 
It's something that I have to be in the mood for. Is there a Sonic the Hedgehog overhaul mod for Dwarf Fortress? Because if there isn't, I'm a little bit surprised. reading a post that got added at me on Discord a little while ago. With approximately 1,000 hours, I still don't know how to extract seeds from, exter from exterior fruits like watermelon and grapes. In Dwarf Fortress? Can you even do that? Also, isn't it just brewing? Uh, how large a cistern does a uh, field need to be filled with to last the winter? Oh, wait, are we talking about water? Why are your dwarves drinking water? Only, you, sh you only really need problems. You only really run into problems with that if, like, you're suddenly, what's the word? Got a lot of injuries. Because that's really what they use water for, is injuries. Hmm. I mean, like, as far as haunted areas go, like, there, there are absolutely haunted areas in this, in this map. Various different towers with little, you know, haunted zones around them. Um, no haunted mountains, though, which is a bit disappointing. That was the volcano I was just looking at. Which, you know, is close-ish to some of those zones. Um, if I go south... Most of them have towers in them. There's this kind of area is terrifying and has a stream in it um, so yeah there is haunted stuff in this map just nothing with a volcano in it i've seen them before just not in this world haunted forts are just like i said tedious oh there's a haunted mountain could be conned into doing a haunted mountain just because of the prospect of finding dark gnomes the meal hate of ignition. I think that that river has an eating disorder. It's very sad. Hope it gets help. Rank loaf the nature of whatever that word turns into. The muddy hip. <laughs> it's the tragically hip. It's my tragically hip cover band. Why are they tedious? Because there's usually, like, one of three rules with um, a haunted biome, right? If you're doing an evil biome, you either, A, can't use do, go to the surface at all because shit's going to completely uh, annihilate your dwarves if you go to the surface. So you immediately have to dig underground and lock off the surface. So building above ground is basically a no-go in most haunted biomes. Most haunted biomes. If it isn't a resurrecting biome and there aren't zombies on the surface, you can creep up to the surface. But if it's a clouds biome, then... It's just going to send these clouds over occasionally that just turn everything into something else immediately upon touching them or just killing them. Um, so you have to be really, 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 really careful whenever you go up to the surface, basically. And that is a lot of micromanagement. And it's like, I don't find them particularly difficult, but they are particularly tedious. That isn't to say that they're bad. I don't think that they're bad. Oh, there's a major river. I'm mostly just looking for interesting embarks. It's a human fortress retreat. I was kind of curious about how big this river is, actually. Like right here. Stream, stream, major river right there. Let's see what this looks like if I can embark here. Probably leaning towards that volcano. I'm mostly just curious what the embark looks like. Papaya trees. Mm -hmm. No waterfall here, but yeah, no waterfall. Just V big river. There's a stingray. No, there is no way to stop a haunted embark from being haunted. 
There's alligators and iguanas? Look at that! It's a tree bunny! Iguana! Adorable! Never seen a river that big? Oh yeah, they come that big. Rattlesnake, 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 rattlesnake. Tomatoes? Damn. I don't think I've ever seen a tomato in this version of the game. Mung beans? Pickleberries? Yeah, I think I'm I'm leaning towards that first volcano. I know I'm just like exploring the world, but you know. Rankloaf? Rankloaf Rankloaf sounds like a villain's cat. You know, like an evil villain's cat. Hey, come over here, Rankloaf. You know what I mean? Never plant above ground? Oh yeah. Hey chat room. Gloves said post beers. So post some goddamn beers. You need to remember that Arch Crystal literally took Cethodos about six and a half years. Right? And also, he has kids. And the reason he has that amount of time to put into one fort at such a low frame rate is he makes two little tweaks on his fort gets up, leaves, and comes back four hours later, and the one thing he did is done. He plays Dwarf Fortress like an incremental game. He's doing it again in a, in a fort in some frozen biome. But Long Death took a very long time, yeah. He plays it like an idle game, basically, yeah. So I really like this volcano, not because it's a particularly noteworthy location, though. There's one of two that I think we should play. Either this one, this is the stupidly steep one, that first one that we looked at. I think this would be the coolest area to build. Um, the problem with it is it's calm, which kind of sucks. There is no trees, so we would have to dig down to the caverns, which is fine. Um, but uh, we'd have to we'd have to dig down to the caverns because there won't be any wood. But it's calm, and that part kind of sucks. The other one that we looked at is the one over here. This one has iron, silver, copper, and is wilderness, um, and also has sand. This was the second one that we looked at that has the booby, or the, the butt. So I would probably embark like this on it, maybe, maybe up here. I would try some more embarks on this one. Although, this is Untamed Wilds up here. Actually, hold on, let's see what this side looks like. I'm curious as to what animals show up. And then the, the last one is the, the one that we looked at most recently. Oh, that's a pretty weird looking bark. Hold on. That just looks like a giant cannon. I could build in that. I could build in that and be okay. That's a penis. You're a penis. Well, you've ruined this entire fort immediately, so thanks, by the way. Also, if your penis has a square tip, you might want to go see a doctor. Got a little bit too much taken off in the circumcision. No, 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 no. What? No. I don't want no. this stream to all be dick jokes. Chat no. makes it into dick jokes. <laughs> I didn't do it. It's not my fault. This is a cool spot. This is a pretty cool spot, yeah. So I'm just going to unpause for a second. Let's see what animals wander on. Ooh, giant birds. Why is it always giant birds? I don't even like giant birds. Blue jays, though. So um, if we get ourselves a large Dyson and blow it directly at these birds, chat. Would that make us a giant Blue Jay fan? So anyway, that's option two. Do they erupt? No. No, they do not. Giant birds are boring, yeah. Oh, you've unsubscribed to me billions of times. It's fine, Plano, you'll be back. What would you do without me? Speaking of, I'm going to be real sad if we don't get it. I guess we're not going to get a future of the fortress this month, eh? I wonder if I could convince Tarn to do an impromptu stream 
in place of that. You'd like square tip for it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up, rat? Is there something wrong with the uh, ready military schedule? My military dwarves' happiness have been going down, and I assume it's because they aren't gaining happiness from teaching, but aren't gaining happiness from some... Uh, it is good to give your dwarves break from in the military. I find that when they are in the ready thing, they just kind of idly train. I would, like, if you want them to keep their gear on, I'd set them to off-duty, but tell them to keep their gear on at all times, which is a pretty easy setting to change in that menu. Because, essentially, I, I find that what ends up happening is they'll just kind of idle around and try and entertain themselves, but they don't generally do a particularly good job of it. Let's try right here. So we've done this up to here. This is all just wilderness, though. I'm fishing for untamed wilds. Okay, so that untamed wilds kind of blows. Oh, shit, this, has, this also has iron down here. There are some trees, which is plenty. Let's just see what this side looks like. Cause So we, we've done this side, which, eh. This side is, is square dong. And uh, let's try here. Ah, oh, man, that's far too square again. <laughs> that looks... Okay, um, we, chat, we have acquired another butt fort. Ah, boy. Square Dongville, see a doctor. You know what? Let's just do the one that I like. It's a heart. You know hearts are shaped that way because they look like butts, right? That was a different world that had creature keepers in it, right? Yeah, it was. Another butt end of the joke? Yeah. Have you never, like, flipped a heart over and looked at it? It's a person bending over, clearly. Pretty sure that's the lower intestine you're confusing with the heart, but I'll, I'll allow it. Depends on how you look at it and the angle that you look at it from. Salty. <laughs> Can you do a subscribe fort name? I don't think sub is a word that I can use. Chat's just a bunch of butt enthusiasts. That is acceptable. All right, I'm gonna stick with the one where I was like, man, I wanna build here. Even though it doesn't have wood, even though it doesn't have an aquifer, even though it's gonna have a lot of problems. This one. Even though it's on a calm biome with no trees at all. This is just the most interesting of them. Let's see what this looks like. You are, Bastet. This is a known fact. Yeah, I think I think this is the fort. I think this is the fort. I mean, just just look at this. I could make a bridge going from here into there, and that's quartzite. I could make a pink bridge going in from here into there. Let's, let's go ahead, baby Blueford, say it. Say it. You, you know you want to ruin the fort. Although I don't like that too much. Oof. Uh, YouTube chat, you want to fill Chris in a little bit if possible. It's kind of cool looking. Uh-huh. Waiting on the innuendo, but we got marble. I mean, right now, all I'm doing is prospecting. That's literally all I'm doing. A lot of basalt. Quartzite. 
It also concerns me because it just says copper. So it's not... Like, it's got to be native copper, which is actually going to be kind of hard to find. Cop yeah, like copper nuggets, exactly. Not a fan of that. Let me tr let me try something slightly different on this embark, if it lets me do it. Also, for reference, once adventure mode is out, the way these starts of forts are going to look is I'm literally just going to be an adventurer somewhere going like, all right, where am I going to settle? <laughs> Running around on these mountains, trying to like, you know, not starve to death and punch people while I'm at it. No, that's cheating. Tech Ariel. If you want to cheat, you're more than welcome to. I will not use DF hack to give me a advantage. Half of the fun for me is digging and finding stuff um the issue that i have with uh one of the bigger issues actually that i have with this whole version is the fact that it tells me what type of metals are there i realize that a lot of people over the years would always just type in dfac commands to tell them what type of metals i don't actually like knowing what kind of metal is there i wish it just said deep metal or shallow metal or metals plural i i do not like knowing what kind of metals are going to be where i'm embarking It's not a new cheat. No. Someone's just telling me to use a DF hack command to tell, to tell me how many... To use the prospect command in DF hack to tell, my, tell me how many materials are there. Which is... Why would I do that? So I don't like this side right here, right? So let's go right there if it lets us. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Very few maps have flux. Yeah, okay, so this is the side I'd want to embark on to. Because this doesn't bother me down here. This is fine. I'm pretty sure it does. I know Reveal All does, too. There's multiple ways to prospect. Yeah, if, I was going to say, more often they're not than not, there's no flux. So what do you think, chat? Is this spot a keeper? Press one in chat if you think it's a keeper. Press two if you think we should keep hunting. Almond diamond cluster. I don't know about creature keeper, but more just generic statement of keeper. Some things about this embark are going to be a pain in the ass, though. Wood is going to be a pain in the ass. Just as an example. Uh, it goes down to layer 77. And it goes up to layer 126. So it's a very tall map. Oh, also... I see sand. It's weird. Why isn't there a ramp there? Hmm. Actually, kind of a lot of ramps missing. It's a steep ass hill. All right, ladies and lettuces, let's start a fort. What about all the stone that's everywhere, though? This is true. Prismatic, yeah. Although I might have to dig pretty... Although, fortunately, there's no aquifer, so digging down to caverns won't be too much of a challenge. It was like, glass for it, glass for it, glass. Although I can't do clear glass, so it would have to be green glass. There won't be enough wood. Yeah, I'm just kind of sad that 
the Embark with the giant slugs and giant hedgehogs isn't, like, more interesting looking. Hopefully there's water in the caverns. <laughs> Hopefully there's water in the caverns. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but like, if there's no water in the caverns, maybe that's going to be exciting. So, oops, I accidentally... No water. Mouths are dry. Wounds are festering. You think haunted biomes are scary? Whew! Right, going to war with no water. Yeah, that stream is the closest source of water. Also this one. Listen puzzle. So we just did this. That was the embark. Would you let me embark, like, right there? Yeah, you do. Wait, what? Why did... You know, I am so used to embarking in scary places that don't let you embark when you initially click that I just kind of think that you can click there. There's no aquifer, yeah. No, there's no aquifer. Trade for water went, uh, when a different game comes out. <laughs> but yeah, no, that would just be like, nobody can get injured the fort. If there's no water. No, because then they, that would require the cavern to be hollow. Or, sorry, that you can, if you throw a cat into a volcano, it's not going to show you the cavern layers. All it's going, it might show you where the magma sea is, but how is the cat going to see out of the volcano while it's sinking down, right? You need to cut through the wall to see through the edge of the volcano. With some sort of water ritual trade? Yeah. Cleno, your DM is making me think that I'm a month behind on Future of the Fortress. No, I'm not. But, man. <laughs> it's like, you, you made me suddenly think that there was another one. I was like, but, but, but hold on, what? Okay, anyway. The abetted ash. We're going to aid and abet the ash. We're going to do. We are going to embark as not this faction with 61 dwarves. We're going to be the Veiled Halls. And we are at war with what looks like humans who are very close. Yeah, there was that was a kind of a wild week when Diamond had a bajillion's points. I kind of want the volcano to be a little bit closer to the center. You know what? Let's make it bigums. Why not sums? What could possibly go wrong? You did in fact join on a brand new start. I'm just going to screenshot this real quick. I'm just going to see what this looks like. I realize I've done this like a dozen times, and chat's probably going, Blind, stop doing this. But deal with it. Who needs a wagon anyway? You know, this looks a lot nicer. <laughs> Even though we have these annoying-ass right angles. Because most of the time we're going to be spending up here. Right here. Because that's, obvi that's obviously like the, either the front door or like where we defend from or something, right? Holy crap, Taylor. Good win. Same with you, Devilish. And Deep Space. 
I'm just, I'm bothered by the right angles that often end up, like, where chunks swap, like this. But... It just kind of happens on such steep embarks. What are tickets? Don't worry about them too much. Go figure it out. Yeah, I'm not going to do the bigger embark. We're just going to keep it a slightly smaller. Don't get a lot of tickets. You won't win. But if you do, please give me $10 and say that you won the lottery. You can all be jealous. I don't want to, like, cause a rat race, but the dwarf redemption's about to be up. $20 per year. That's $20 more than I've gambled on those. Yeah, I've never actually bought a lottery ticket. I've bought scratch and wins before, but... Oh, cool. Yet another studio laying off 20% of their staff. Zwari got it. Ardith, thank you very much for the 13th month. Welcome back. This guy's figuring it out. I know you won the Dwarf Redemption race. This is part two. All right, so we are going to embark, right? Here. But I'm just going to double check Origin Civ. Veiled Halls with Queen um, Ubal Furnace Folded Chat, I have, a, I have a question More Wasteland or less Wasteland? Because this would be less Wasteland, this would be more Wasteland Woot Woot And Shutterbug, thank you very much for the third month. Appreciate you guys jumping in. Also, I got to say, that's the, the first notification of money's in 45 minutes. So appreciate you. Let's prepare carefully, shall we? So this is a calm embark, which means I'm not too worried. So let's start off with the fun bit. And that's naming things. So you asked if I could name a fourth subscribe. I could name it Subtle. Oh, yeah. Six months long. I could name it Subtle Scribe. <laughs> Dragon Soul, thanks for the six months. Welcome back. <laughs> this is a very Klinodev uh, embark. That's about most I can do. I can, uh, su su Subtle Scribe. Subtle Scribe. Um... I could also do submerged or submerge. <laughs> Subtle scribe. Are we making a library fort? Actually, okay, here's an here's an idea. Chat room. We are this this is there's this is gonna be a stretch, okay? We are pacifist dwarven authors that want to write books and build a library in this volcano. However, these goddamn pesky goblins and humans keep attacking us, and so we throw them into the volcano. But none of us are allowed to touch them. <laughs> Submerged in lava, the library? We're the subtle scribes. And chat, don't forget to subtle scribe. <laughs> Leave a like on the video. Anyway. Um, thanks for the pipe train. Uh, Winky, you, uh, thank you very much for that Prime subscription. Appreciate you. And uh, the group name can be the... The... Author the, the cremated <laughs> authority. Uh, the... Oh, man. A 
was gonna say the flaming authority, but burning? Auburn. It's Auburn authority. The the cremated authority of fires. Volcanoes. The likes of sharing. Oh my if we're gonna commit to this, is is like likes isn't a word. Love oh, is is sharing a word? I mean I sharks. The love of sharks is the closest thing I can get to. <laughs> that's the, that's the closest I could get to the likes of share. <laughs> I don't, but there's no sharks here. Deep Space, thanks for the five bucks. Hold on a second. Ordin, thanks for checking out a gift sub. Deep Space, thanks for the five bucks. There we go. We're all caught up. Then they can walk the plank. I mean, maybe we are the sharks. Also, um, David Payne got gifted a subscription by Matt Cat on uh, the YouTube side of things. So, Talon, heads up, you being gifted thing. You think I know tweeting is a word. I I'm I I don't want to invoke the word Twitter <laughs> more than I have to. Actually hold on. I was gonna say the hot take, but <laughs> the follow of tweeting. No. Actually, hold on. Chat. I, I, I can't, it's not letting me write the hot take and that's making me kind of sad. I could call it the hot taker, but that doesn't quite do it. <laughs> Sundere Sharks uh, has entered the room. That's a, that's a good stupid subreddit. <laughs> The hot taker's pretty good, but subtle scribes of the hot taker, the hot theft. Man, I didn't realize you thought about Carmen San Diego that way. <laughs> uh, is Twitch a word? Oh boy, I. No. No, we're not going to call it the hot stream because people will say it sounds like pee. Is high rule. I mean, we could call it the high high ruler. Hot stream of life. I mean, if you insist. Uh, thanks for the five subscriptions and the five bucks. Appreciate you, chat. Was twitching a word? I don't think it's even an adjective. The twinkling. <laughs> How about we call it the twinkling fire? Because the leader cultivates certain herbs. I don't cultivate well, I... I'm trying to think what what herbs do I actually have growing? I is parsley a herb? Because <laughs> legitimately some parsley just sprouted. What are we naming? This is the the group. 
So the, the fortress is called uh, Subtle Scribe because chat wanted me to call it Subscribe. So I named it Subtle Scribe. Um, no, you can't. You can grow hemp. Hemp is not weed. Which is a damn shame that hemp get gets like lumped in with like proper weed because it is a very, very useful uh, thing to farm and cultivate that's completely illegal in a lot of places because people are draconian and weird. <laughs> The living stream, oh boy. Living is not a word. Uh, in that sense, l is living an adjective? Living is an adjective. The living, f actually the living fire is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I could call it the living stream. I kind of want to call it the living fire though. Living fire is pretty good. Yes, new Fort Nevik. And it's a volcano fort that only has copper and no trees and no aquifers, so and no surface water. So here's hoping there's water in caverns. I kind of just like the living fire. I think I'm just gonna go with the living fire. So we are the subtle scribe of the living fire, and uh, our group symbol is gonna very obviously be a dwarf. And uh, object. A dwarf is embracing the codex. I mean, it'll be a relatively short fort if that if we don't find cavern water. Um, hmm. shape a mountain. The mountain is devouring the goblins. The goblins are burning. Uh, I mean, that works. I mean, obviously I can make them scream. Hey, True Freak, what's up? Goblins are screaming, you know. And obviously the mountain is laughing. I don't think it's 100% guaranteed, but it's more of a, how many cavern layers do I need to dig through? But anyway, if we end up in a location with absolutely no water, we'll play it. It just simply means nobody can get injured. Is sacrificing a thing? No, not really. Oh, so long time, fam. How you been? Holding up. And this can be the... The Mountain of Flames. The Hungry? Hungry. The Chunky Mountain of Flames. Chunky Mountain of Flames or Hungry Mountain of Flames? Oh yeah, you're not wrong. At least you're, you, you are correct. We could in theory try to dig into a candy spider to get water out of it, but. Thick isn't a word, unfortunately. Hunky isn't either. I could call it the big mountain of flames. I could call it the fat mountain of flames. Um, I could call it the bloated mountain of flames, the nasty mountain of flames, the molten mountain of flames, uh, the brazen mountain of flames, the furious mountain of flames. Uh, two flames, too furious. Let's go with chunk. Chat wants hungry, so we'll go with hungry. Uh, hungry mountain of flames. All right, sweet, done. Um, as far as things I'm going to bring with me. Oh. Well then. I 
I like this faction. And then the rest I'm just going to spend on wood. <laughs> I don't need crutches. I don't need quivers. Oh, trust me, this is this is going to be a big mountain. I'll take the... I'll get rid of a bunch of these seeds. Also, in case you guys missed... Somebody missed that, uh, this faction has elephants. What else do we have? So we got elephants, got camels, bunnies, llamas, yaks, reindeer, water buffalo, ducks, cavies, Roosters, horses, donkey, mule, kitty. Yeah. Twitch Prime option not showing. Apparently they're hiding it. Apparently it's harder to find now. Somebody like, somebody who just subscribed with Prime, explain to our friend here how to find it. I haven't looked at it recently, but apparently they've moved it again. Bring avocado wood. It's got a nice look. Oh, I'm starting it today. I mean, I've been live for nine and a half hours. I mean, realistically. Go for two more. All right. So now I just need some, some skills on these dwarfs. I'm thinking... Uh, ask somebody who works at Twitch, not me. Nevik. My Twitch Prime isn't up, so it's hard for me to find it, but let, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it, it literally... Okay, hold on. I'm already subbed to that channel. I need somebody I'm not subbed to. Yeah, it, it's not showing for me because my, like, prime sub isn't up, so I can't even look to help you find it. Um, My bet is because they don't want to incentivize it. My bet is because they want to incentivize people to subscribe manually. I'm going to go swap this out for water. I'll be back in a sec. Unrelated to anything, there's about, I don't know, four centimeters of snow on the ground that wasn't there an hour and a half ago, and it's raining. So, I don't know what the planet did while I've been sitting here, but apparently decided to snow, and now it decides it wants the snow to go away. So, that's exciting. You assume that the goblins are going to be stupid enough to attack us. Let's worry about, like, step 12 after we finish the first few steps. Thank you very much for the Prime subscription, Tilly. Uh, alright, so let's... let's go with Miner. Miner. Give you some skills in brewing. Give you some skills in planting. Give you some skills in planting and brewing as well. You can just be a farmer. Um, with some gem setting skills. Some kind of air. Thank you very much for the Prime subscription. You don't actually use your Prime sub. Well, clearly you just did. Congrats on the 50k and many more. And in a couple of months. 
I, I mean, I, I'm up in, like, in, in Vancouver, BC, and it was, like, spring weather two days ago, so. It'd get cold, yeah. The elephants cause a diplomatic incident. Why would they cut their team? Why would they cause a diplomatic incident? Both a weaponsmith, side of armor smithing. Um, give you high points in ambushing. Is it bad that I'm tempted to give them all, like, swimming skills? <laughs> I mean, at this rate, I might as well just give them all comedian skills. Uh, let's just give them all reading. And speaking. Had to click elevate your subscription first to then show the prime checkbox. Oh. It's probably easier to find than it was before. Before it was a weird checkbox. I need to actually look at it when I see it, but... It might be one of those things where, like... The last one was real bad, and they've made it better? Question mark? Maybe I'm being too hopeful. I don't know. Give you some points in appraisal. An intimidator. How about you? Let's go wordsmith. Writer. Poet. All right. So this dumb fortress of subtle, subtle scribe of the living fire... With the very logical, normal dwarfy, dwarfy image of a dwarf and a codex, goblins and a mountain. The dwarf is embracing the codex. The goblin is uh, the mountain is devouring the goblins. The goblins are burning. The goblins are screaming. The mountain is laughing. That's more hidden than it was last time you ranked on Twitch. Fair. I don't know. They they are. Um, it's getting uh, regional pricing, so it's going down in value. So they're probably making it slightly harder to find, so that less people use it. But honestly, I, I don't really care. It's fine. <laughs> as long as we're able to find it, all good. I mean, they could honestly get rid of Prime and it wouldn't bother me too much. It would upset a lot of people, but it wouldn't upset me that much because that's just the state of industry right now. Features are getting cut, people are getting fired, things are getting changed, money getting cut, all that stuff. Anyway, we're in an ad break real quick, so I'll just simply wait for the ad break to end and then we'll dive in. Also, hey, Blue Owl, it's good to see you. <laughs> your sunk cost Amazon cash, you're happy? That's fair. As long as you can get ad free viewing, I'm, I'm happy. Find little to no water. <laughs> Give everybody swimming. Find no water in any of the caverns. Eternal depression. All right, 37 seconds until the ad break is done. And then we dive in. Chat room, are you guys ready to start a brand new fort? We have an emote here. It's called Crypt Pick. It's kind of like um, a dwarf striking the earth, if you will. If you happen to have that emote, could I get a wall of it? And if you don't have that emote, or if you're on YouTube, could I just get a pickaxe emoji? Let's consider this earth struck. You have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended, and your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all. Baiskiton. There is almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook. Provide for your dwarves. Crypt pick, crypt pick, crypt pick, crypt pick, crypt pick. Crypt pick up all these emotes. Thank you very much for the, the seventh month off. Uh, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve. Hmm. 
There's almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before the winter entombs you, but it is spring now, enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the jaguars get hungry. A new chapter of dwarving history begins here at this place. Azor Tathur, subtle scribe. Strike the earth. So now the question that I only just started thinking about a few seconds ago. This is supposedly dense vegetation. But I'm assuming this isn't stuff that I can, like, pasture my animals on. Hmm. It's cotton grass. So we need to find caverns quick. Oopsies. I need to find caverns quick. And I also need to find dirt. Because there's a lot of slate and a lot of basalt and a lot of this stuff. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, it, 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 this is true. I mean, there's also the, the wasteland down here, which is just like not going to be particularly useful. Oh, there we go. There's native copper. That's good to know. been a while since I've settled anywhere with native copper, so I didn't actually remember what it looked like, but... Weird wagon? I mean... It's a steep map, okay? <laughs> Almondines? Alright, so I got two dwarves to name. I gotta name Arende, and I gotta name... Zwari. So, Arende, what dwarf do you want? And Zwari, what dwarf do you want? In order. I'm assuming you're both here still. Otherwise, I'll just give one of them a random one. Actually, did I end up with more than Ah, uh, just two elephants? God damn. Sag. Planter. Sounds like a plant. Tur? Huh. You're annoyed when caught in the rain. Uh, she is dour as a rule, and she is conflicted by this as she values parties of merrymaking in the abstract. She almost never feels discouraged and is confident under pressure. Generally finds herself to be quite hopeful about the future, is curious and eager to learn, and tends to be a little wasteful when working on projects. She has a greedy streak, and she is somewhat uncomfortable around those that have that appear unusual or live differently from herself. Uh, she is moved by art and natural beauty, and she has an active sense of humor, and she does not easily hate or develop negative feelings. Uh, she occasionally overindulges, and she has a noticeable lack of perseverance and talks to herself when she's nervous and needs alcohol to get through the working day and likes working outdoors and only grumbles mildly at, well, weather. Uh, dreams of mastering a skill and personally strongly values tranquility and quiet and is put off by family. And uh, Zwerry... You always throw in a cat at the start and it tends to find the bottom of the bottom cavern layer. Get grass growing. That's a strat that you're more than welcome to use if you like. I mean, I could throw a yaki in, see where it ends up, but I don't have a cat to throw in there. And I ain't throwing one of my one of my um one of my elephants in there cuz that's just that's just a waste. Oh, you, you gave it to Wolfie. Okay, I missed that bit. Um, all right, so Metalsmith? You'd like Olin? Wolfie, Steam Gears, is your last name, lives a slow-going and leisurely pace, can get caught up in internal deliberations when action is necessary, desires little for himself in the way of possessions, and could be considered rude, is brave in the face of imminent danger, has a calm demeanor, and finds himself quite hopeful about the future, is somewhat uncomfortable around those that appear unusual and live differently from himself, and has a tendency towards forming deep and emotional bonds with others. Uh, he is slow to trust others, and, and generally is quite confident in his abilities when undertaking specific ventures. And he tends to be passive in discussions, and it tends to avoid physical confrontations, and he works to square this natural tendency with his respective martial prowess. He, he needs alcohol to get through the working day and likes working outdoors and only grumbles mildly at weather in general. But uh, since Zwari is not going to let me forget this if I don't do it... Oh, right. Hide tutorials, please. 
uh, right up here. Let's make sure it gets a nice, good bit of speed going. Throw a bunny or a cavey or something? I don't know. Somebody clearly hates cats. Also, we're getting rained on, so this sports software could start. I mean, it does work, yeah. I don't think it's gonna make it very far. Nope. Everybody uh, at Zwari and remind them that they are a bad person and just made me kill a camel for no reason because I was like, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna make it down. You can go back and hear me say it. Pretty sure it's not gonna make it down. Now I can tell you that I have proof. It's not gonna make it. Okay, so we also have surface microcline. Oh, that's interesting. So many colors. Okay, so I need to be very careful about where I start digging. Um, me horribly murdering a camel for no reason, apparently. The volcano was hungry. This is true. The volcano was, in fact, hungry. Works with cats. Zwari, throw yourself in there. <clears throat> that's all I have to say to you. It doesn't work with... Oh, I don't know why it doesn't work with camels. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Come on, man. Please. You're wrong. It's not going to make it down. Maybe in a much shallower volcano. Please. All right. I'm going to stare at my um, elephant first. There's ostriches all over this map. Stare at my elephant for a second and see if grass disappear. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, actually, I can tell you why it works. Because bodies can still see, apparently. I thought they fixed that bug. Anyway, I know where the um, magma sea is now. It's on layer minus 25. So, I don't think they can graze here. Like I said, bodies can still see. That's why it works. Did I drown a dwarf? No, I threw a uh camel in there. The dwarves are all still outside and not burning in the volcano. Do not worry. I'm just trying to decide where to start digging. Also, chat, don't let your pets anywhere near Zwari here. Or they will get involuntarily hucked into a volcano to um, scout. Still, it's not going to tell you where the caverns are. Unless there's an open gap at the bottom of the caverns, but... Anyway. So this... Oh, gee, thanks for the 15th month. Welcome back, dude. Burr for the camel. Burr for the camel. I'm trying to decide where to start chipping away into this volcano. Because I'm kind of tempted to just like start all the way the hell up here and just like slowly dig down and in. What, that would be such a long, slow process. I mean, it doesn't really help us in any way, <laughs> sorry. We're just now minus one camel. I, I disagree that that is a beneficial thing for the fortress. We just now have a, one less camel. That is a, about it. Let's 
sand all the way down there so I don't need to worry too, too much. Uh, had. That camel no longer has feelings because it no longer is alive. I watched a video the other day that I was kind of hypnotized by of a camel eating a cactus. Literally just bites a spherical cactus and just sits there and chews onto this cactus for a couple minutes. I'm like, ow, my throat hurts. Camels are kind of incredible. Like, just in general. Like, the amount they can go without drinking. Like, the fact that they can just eat a cactus because, you know, I step on a cactus and I'm in debilitating pain for six weeks. That God goddamn camel can just, like, eat one. That's like eating a ball of nails. <laughs> I know that they use that... I, if I understand how the biology of camels works correctly, they use the hump to not fill... It's not literally filled with water, but it is, like, the part of their body that they store their excess water in, which is why they don't need to go eat, like, drink as frequently. But I could also be, be completely mistaken. Partly true. Yeah, I mean, it's not, like, a bubble. You can't, like, poke it with a pin and it'll pop. But, yeah, it's it's that's, like... It's like stating that y your body is literally like straight water, right? But we store water in our body fat. Camels can inflate their tongues. I beg your pardon? <laughs> what? No, it's not like a gushing. It's not it's not literally like my camel back that I take camping. Like obviously. Okay, so let's check in on the elephants again. Yeah, I don't think that cotton grass is grazable. So currently, I'm not gonna lie, I'm full of some pretty bad analysis paralysis. I have absolutely no idea where the hell I should start building. Calm down there, black eyed peas, if you'd like your humps in your teeth. You found a downward passage. Oh, that's awesome. Should run down in it and see what pops out. <laughs> God, golly gee. I wonder why. Build a library first? We also happen to have elephants. So the biggest priority is locating a home for these elephants. Where could he have gone? Gosh, I don't know. Hi, sentient potato. Priority numero uno. Mm. And uh, let's just go right here and place one of these. Just start making blocks and doors and such. <laughs> did chat talk me into eating a camel into the volcano? Chat, what did you talk me into doing? And we'll do it again, too. Hey, it, it did, in fact, find the Magma Sea. Not like camels really have much use. It was for science? Sure, that's what they all say. 
It's for science, guys. Don't worry. It's about the science. All about that base. No camel. Get it? It's all about the... For anyway. Uh, let's do door. Door. There's two doors. And... Let's make quartzite doors. Fastest way to cook a camel. Um, sure. Blind get mad at chat speedrun. a whole camel? What a waste of sugar. Is it a diabetic camel with high blood sugar or something? I'll tell you this, Darks. I'm pretty sure that the results will be the same regardless of what kind of creature you throw in there is that it'll burn up pretty quickly, and then a little bit later you'll get a notification um, stating what's at the bottom. <laughs> you wonder which one falls faster. Um, you could probably ask some, like, wiki scientists or, like, some of the DF hack people, and they'd probably just tell you. I'd be willing to bet it doesn't matter. Because I'm pretty sure that everything reaches the terminal, velo terminal velocity after the same number of tiles, so I don't think they have any speed of sinking. But if you want to, like, embark with 100 cats and, like, do some science, be my guest. I will not do that. And I don't even like cats, really. I mean, don't, I, I like cats, but I don't like cats that much. I keep getting emails about a Kickstarter I didn't back from a developer making a game I don't care about. I blocked their email once. They're still emailing me. Uh, you use uh, the pit pond thing, and you set it to a pit, and then you assign an animal to it. Whoa, 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 what was that? Magnetite? Chat room, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't this map supposed to only have copper? Last time I checked, magnetite in copper. That's not copper. I know, right? That's 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 definitely not copper. It's like the game lied to us. Well, that's an interesting discovery. What does Clino need to explain? This was supposed to be a cop fort. Instead, it's a mag fort. I also need to dig into here and start growing stuff pretty quick. How you feeling, though, Femme? It's been a while since we chatted. Hope you're doing all right. Last time we talked, things were kind of dire. Do a few tiles of granite. Not really, loot goblin. Instead of a magnetite blob. Oh yeah, no, it's not a full-size magnetite blob. I can tell you that. Hey. Well, this isn't promising. It is full of um, metal, though. That's a drathla. Also, that's mildly annoying. It's a swarm of flies. Rotten cave spider silk.
Save the game? Okay. Elephants love mud. I mean, it's not gonna make anything grow, which is what I need, so. I get to keep digging, actually. Where did all the water go? What water? I haven't seen water yet this far. What, do, what, what is all this water you speak of? It's probably in another castle, clearly. Oh, I, I mean, I can farm on mud. That's not a problem. I'm not worried about farming. There's fucking dirt on the surface I could farm on. I could farm all over the place. Farming is not the worry here. The worry is I have elephants that will starve to death if they're not constantly grazing. And elephants can't graze on the surface where we settled. Chat, can somebody smack Zwiri for me so that I don't get, like, in, put in prison for child abuse? Please? <laughs> what are you guys doing? So when you gets in trouble, not me. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I'm just being like, stop asking stupid questions just on repeat. But um, not all caverns have water in them, and ones that have mud are dried up. This is the same. This is the same world, different sip. I kind of have given up on the other one. All right. So, besides all of the cool things about that other sieve died. By that I mean that the Queen Gorlack died. Rest in peace, Queenie. Long live the Queen. No, that's not really how that works because stuff from the surface grows down here, right? And because we're on a mountain biome, as I understand mountain biomes, I could be completely off base, but I'm pretty sure Mountain biomes, you just can't grow anything on them, right? Because you just can't grow anything on them, it doesn't... If I were to channel down to here, all that would happen is stuff from the surface biome would start to grow down here, right? Yes, there is, in fact, a volcano. Did you just expect that there's an excitement detector hidden in the game? Clayno, can you please explain in less words than me why I'm not guaranteed to, like, or why channeling down to this cavern ain't gonna fix the lack of, like, growable stuff? Because literally just the stuff from the surface grows down here then. And we're on a rocky wasteland slash mountain that does have thick vegetation. However, it's still a mountain biome, and I'm pretty sure you just straight up, like, they just can't eat things. on the surface, because we just have cotton grass. This is true. Putnam could probably tell us. I mean, I can tell you too. It's literally just because it's a dry cavern. They happen sometimes. If it's not possible, I'll butcher you and throw you in the volcano, Chestnut. And then retire the fort. We'll take this, I'll pack this fort up and uh, drive home. Is this moment. <laughs> at this rate, we're all going to be like main characters and we're all going to be playable characters in Tekken at this rate. Because everybody in Tekken ends up in a volcano, right? That's, that's how that works. Don't make me turn this part around. Exactly. Like, 
like Greenland. Ah. I don't think that's quite how Greenland works, but I found an aluminum pillar. That's interesting. It's a very light pillar. There's also red zircons. This is a pretty cool cavern. Star sack? Oh, I see. That's a Kinder Surprise Egg right there. But, I don't know. There's plenty of copper down here. <laughs> Aluminum? Nice. Yes, exactly. I've gone up here. Let's just do door. And door. That does, in fact, sound like a local brand of beer. Aluminium. Aluminum. Chad, are you aluminum or aluminium? Aluminium. Hmm. <laughs> Always been an a, a aluminum person, but I can s say them both interchangeably, and it doesn't really throw me off, usually. The right one? Ah. Well, I'm definitely a schedule over schedule. Lots of mini ums in this chat, which is good. I, I'd much ra I feel much more comfortable being around mini ums than ma than massive ums. Let's in increase the speed at which we dig. By telling one dwarf to prioritize. White opals. Lots of fancy gems here. Come on, Obak. Allo massivum? Oh, okay. It's like the difference between a mini coop and a massive coop. <laughs> Allo Ford F 150 um. Mm hmm. The American way. Layer eight. Layer seven. I don't really care what the original is, to be honest with you. All right, well, we've hit one cavern there. Shame if I were to dig just directly into <laughs> the uh, fun tube. But <laughs> only after literal decades. I, I don't see why, really. There's already enough reasons to settle in the caverns when you settle on mountains anyway. Seems like something that would probably be relatively easy to mod into the game as well. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm aborting, but it's an interesting cavern. Still no water, but I mean, hey. We missed one? That's fine. There's water. 
We now have everything we need. We have, like, a very, very, very deep well. <laughs> um, speaking of that... Wood furniture falls apart. Yes, it just takes 400 years for wood to fully degrade down to nothing. It takes about 400 years for wood to fully rot. So in Long Death, I had to replace my beds every 200 years because they would start to get tattered indoors and start to complain about low quality crappy beds at that point. Also, there's chinchillas on this map. All right, well, let's jump down, go up. At least now, even after I seal this off, I will be able to set this up so that we can relatively easily get into the caverns when I need it. In fact, I'm kind of... Ooh! Hold on. Look at this, chat. Do, do you see what I'm seeing? Do, do, are, do you see what I see? It's only one layer deep. I can very, very easily just block, 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 block. I have a place for elephants to live. New Ellie pasture, farming spot. It's just, you know, kind of far away from the fort, but that's okay. One thousand holes in his plan. I mean, not really. There's only... I just need to put floors there, floors there, floors there, floors there, floors there, floors there. Floors there. Walls all the way along here. Floor, floor, floor. Or wall, 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 wall. And yeah, I don't know. As long as we don't get hit by a giant cave spider <laughs> right away. We're okay. This will be great. Trust me. I'm a mostly professional-ish. Uh, there is, in fact, water in this cavern, yes. We are not doomed. We are not, in fact, doomed. -ed. Maybe in the future. Or at least currently, we are not, in fact, doomed. Although, this could be much easier if I block this off right here. Block this off, block that off, this, this, or just floor, floor these ones off, wall that off so we get this little area down here as well. And this is where things get a little deeper down here and then that's where the water is. No, the water's right here. We have water. It's all good. It's water and it's at the edge of the map. We have an infinite supply of water right there. So we do in fact have water, Arende. We do in fact have what the... I don't have to reenact Arabian Nights. We are okay. Okay, so let's um go to the dwarf right now who's currently making rock blocks and be like, yo, Dorfy, stop it. And I'm going uh, I'm to hotkey this to raid. Dorfus, can you please wake up, sis? Please. 
They're snoozing too long. It's starting to freak me out here. Is there all diorite down here? Oh yeah, but for right now, we are just going to, you know, lock them in here in a tiny little room, get walls around it. We'll worry about moving the water elsewhere later. Because pumping the water around isn't going to be too big of a deal. I'm just going to need to get some green glass and make some pumps. So yeah, I'm not too worried about... I'm not too worried anymore. Still a little worried, but... Also, that, that muddy cavern could also be the second cavern. But yes, we did in fact miss a cavern. I'm thinking that we just farm and like basically put our, well, let me not put our, yeah, we should put our food supply down here. Might as well do all that. Platypus? What about platypus? Well, that's unexpected. So, wait. That's the edge of the map, right? So, all I need to wall off is this. I need to wall off this. I need to wall off this. This is a cool cavern. And basically just this right here. Yeah, literally just along here. And then we can have access to this side. I just need to seal off some bits here. And, like, what could possibly go wrong? Aside from, like, you know, everything. All right. Now, the next question is, how many dwarves are going to lock themselves out, outside of where I am? <laughs> All right. Blackworks, what kind of dwarf would you like? We have five to choose from. Miner, miner, hunter on fire, expedition leader, and peasant. <laughs> Who actually is probably the smartest dwarf in the fort. Has lots of skills in reading, but... You'd like the peasant? You're the peasant with axe. We're currently hauling basalt blocks. And um, you're 75 years old. You're in love with a Rende. And uh, let's get your name. How can society function without loyalty? We must be able to have faith in each other. He feels content after remembering having a fine drink. Can be very happy and optimistic, and is incredibly brave in the bra brave, huh? Brave in the face of looming danger. Perhaps a bit foolhardily, uh, dislikes helping others and likes to brawl. Uh, tries to keep his things orderly and doesn't mind wearing something special now and again. Uh, often feels discouraged and often acts with compassion. Is slow to anger and generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity. Is quite ambitious and needs alcohol to get through the working day and likes working outdoors and only grumbles mildly at most weather. Uh, dreams of skill mastery and personally sees the attainment and preservation of knowledge as an offensive enterprise and is en and engaged in by arrogant fools and has a deep dislike of the natural world. Sees life is unfair, doesn't mind it that way, and doesn't care about if others take the time to master skills. So, this is the fortress of Subtle Scribe. The whole shtick of this fort is we're building a library. I think you're gonna be the captain of the guard, or like, the militia commander or something, because you... Are a skilled writer, wordsmith, and poet, but you hate it. You know, maybe that's fitting. <laughs> that's a baron for sure. I mean, it's, it's certainly somebody of importance. I mean, look at that face. Obviously, this face is happy to be 
Um, you are in love with our planter. Obviously, you're a member of the faith of jail. Excuse me? You worship a god named Zonusheth. What the fuck is the faith of jail? This is a poet who just writes about how poetry is a farce, basically. Uh, temple. What in the world? The god of laws, discipline, and order. Why didn't I have that god in the last fort? <laughs> like, seriously. Probably loves Judge Judy. Um, so I am not going to name this squad the Inky Sax. So my question is, what do I name this squad? <laughs> Anything but that. Invisible Bridges. You know, the Invisible Bridges is how we let the enemies into the fort. Hey guys, step onto our Invisible Bridge. Sir, that's a... That's a volcano. Yeah, there's an invisible bridge on it. Just walk over it. It's fine. The secret lettuce. <laughs> it's it's like that one bit in um Indiana Jones when when it looks like there's no bridge there, but it's just painted exactly like the wall on the other side. How about just the law. <laughs> I am the law. Stab stabs? Ah. Sounds like a very intelligent name for a dwarven militia squad. And the great squad of stab stabbing. So this is the concern area up here now. That we're gonna need to go around this, basically. Well, actually, here, you know what? Let's not even do this. Let's go up to here and just block this right here. Somebody come in and do this one right now? No. Okay. Let's just let's just follow the dwarves. The Bonk brothers. Any relation to the Chemical brothers? Ah, you don't. You you need to be as creative as as you want. That's don't 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 worry about like overdoing goofy amounts of creativity. I'm pretty happy with this fort so far, though. You know? I'll say, hey, Kajmat. Good evening. First time you're watching one of the streams. It's 4 a.m. right now, and you have a night shift, so you're gonna watch on the side while working? Hell yeah! Dead I see elephants. We embarked with elephants, yes. Same world, different faction. Speaking of same world, different faction. Jerem, I got a question. I got a question. Anybody here looking forward to uh, Rift Wizard 2? Because I started getting the itch after Sunday. I was just like skipping through Steam and like landed on it. I was like, oh man, I'm getting the itch, for, itch for, to like be bad at Rift Wizard again. <laughs> it's coming out. It says Q1 on the Steam page. I'm pretty sure we're in Q1 right now, aren't we? It's definitely a soon TM, if you will. Okay, so we have to be a little... Okay, actually... Mm, yeah, that's okay. That side's clear. That's clear. This is the last one that needs done. Double tapping YouTube re rewound to watch Embark while it's like, oh, hell yeah. 
There you go. Using YouTube to its fullest. Last day of March. I think Q1 depends on whether or not you're talking about business or uh, non-business quarters, and also whether or not you're talking about tax quarters, and also whether, like, what country you're referring to. I'm pretty sure a lot of different things can dictate what Q1 is, but... Let's just smooth this and fortify it. I'm assuming... Yeah, they're mostly pen pastoring stuff. Some of them are getting drinks. And I am going to get some gardening going down here. This is going to be real far away and kind of awkward, but, you know, that's what we're going to roll with for right now. Hold the Coke and instead give me a beer and we're, I'm, I'm back in. Yeah, that's got to be the first cavern layer. Pop the pack of paprika pingles. P P pingles is hard to say after saying Pringles. Or after saying paprika, even. Those elephants are grazing in heaven now. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, just for my own ease, is right next to this, I'm gonna just toss a loom. Just so that we can start getting these webs gathered. I swear I just saw a web appear and I was like, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of expecting giant cave spider to show up with no notice. They didn't, no, they did. Like Klino was saying earlier in chat, they get to eat, un, but the grass never reappears on the surface. So they did absolutely get to eat. They just ha didn't get to eat for, they, were, they weren't gonna eat for much longer, I guess is maybe the better way of putting it. Uh, right here, I'm just going to put this, because we are gonna build most of the fort up in the surface. Eventually, I think I'll, just, I'll move all of my farming up there, but. Um, we got to get things started down here first. So let's go to food. Let's go seeds and go plump. Helmet spawn. Pigtails. Um, sweet pods. And cave wheat. And that's all that's going to go there with no barrels. And we're just going to go plump helmets. Plump, helm plump helmets, plump helmets, surprise, more plump helmets. Oops, I accidentally all plump helmets. The webs are also gonna make it clear that uh, we did in fact seal everything off, which I'm gonna continue doing. We already sealed that off, but that's okay. I'd like to seal this one off too. Are we waterless? Chat, are we waterless? Let's see how, how let's see how many members of chat are, are gonna pass the test at the end of the stream. Remember, you better be taking notes. Uthrix found the VODs channel. There you go. The elephant doesn't feel upset while in conflict. Um, with what? I didn't see any combat order. Uh, 
Which is shitting itself. Is it? How so? Maybe it's a... Magma Crab was getting close-ish up? Could have been that. As simple as that. You know something I that, that I saw all the damn time? You're also in conflict. You know what I saw all the goddamn time in older versions of the game, but haven't seen at all in this version of the game? Firemen. Just random dudes coming out of lava. That and fire imps. I haven't seen fire imps in forever. Buffering, but it stopped. Probably your connection to it. Almost all of the time when streams buffer on Twitch, it's not actually Twitch's fault. Probably your ISP. Twitch is actually, like, weirdly stable. Probably got something to do with Amazon, but... Bloodmen? What kind of embark? Probably very haunted biomes, I would assume. Oh! Look at all them elk birds. Yeah, found another side I gotta seal off, I think. Oh, no, never mind. We're, we're all good on this, then. For a second there, I thought that went up and over. No, it doesn't. Pikes elk birds for the... Elk birds have gizzards? I didn't know that. But these elk birds are very annoyed by all of this. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah, I, I I don't think I've ever seen a blood man in this version, either. I saw a bunch of iron men in a fort once, and it was a very long time ago in version 47, and by the time we stopped making, like, weird jokes and laughing about it, we'd all died, so, you know, it was a great fort. <laughs> it was an excellent fort. Everybody had a great time. <laughs> it didn't last very long, though. Well, at least everybody's eaten everything and, like, you know, elephants have place to live. We're getting walls built. This is going to start off as a pretty safe fort, methinks. No, you cannot. If somebody's asking if you can domesticate blood people, no, you can't. Yeah, because that would be slavery, because they are in sentient, intelligent beings, right? So you can't domesticate them because that would be slavery. And dwarves don't believe in slavery. It's against their code of ethics. Bronze is the only Colossus, yes. Some various migrants have arrived. Let's see what we got. Is a high master armorsmith. Mm. Member of the I'm you know, I'm very happy with the Living Fire is the name of this fort group. That is a good name. Wait. Is there no way up the mountain? Or do I just... Oh, I know what's going on. I don't have a meeting zone yet. <laughs> because um, the wagon was destroyed when we embarked. Sure, but a blood man is not a construct creature. An iron man is. But a blood man is not a construct creature. Besides, not everything can be tamed. Intelligent or otherwise. There's plenty of creatures in the game that just can't be tamed. Or trained, for that matter. Okay, so I guess it's just the two dwarves. Did that migrant bring a camel? No, that's just a wild camel. Blood men are constructs. Well, there you go. I'm wrong. Don't listen to anything I'm saying. I clearly have no information.
Okay, well, these can be paused for right now. While he's collecting, collecting web jobs. All right, well, I can just deconstruct this now. Because I don't need this down here anymore. Because from what I can tell, we are all sealed up. Aside from this one tile. We got some nice good gems off the bat. Great fire god demands it. Why? <laughs> and that's me asking as nicely as I can. Why 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 must I like camel the volcano? What did the camel do and what did the volcano do to deserve such things? Also, since when do we worship the god of volcanoes? Actually, what gods do we worship? Let's find out, because this is a new faction. So, the gods that the faction worships are... Fergig! <laughs> Who's the god of rivalry, song, poetry, persuasion, speech, speech depra depravity, and lust. One of these things are not like the other. Uh, then there's one worshiper of the god of laws, discipline, and order. No worshippers of the god of fertility. No worshipper of the god of music, youth, and longevity. That's just, like, the Nirvana god. Uh, nobody worships the god of lake, coast, oceans, and salt. Nobody worships the god of fishing and hunting. Nobody worships the god of birth, creation, and rebirth. Nobody worships the... Or two people worship the god of beauty. Okay. Nobody worships the god of fortresses. Uh, one person worships mountain... The, okay, so I guess Deller would be the volcano god then, because it's mountains and volcanoes. Uh, death, disease, and deformity, nobody worships. And one person worships the god of wealth, jewels, minerals, metals, and crafts. Gods only want one thing, and it's disgusting. Apocalypse! Okay, speaking of one, wanting one thing, and it's disgusting, let's build a fort. So, we kind of have two options here. I can go all out. Or what I can do is we can use this as like the side slash back door. If we use this as like the side slash back door, I would put a little drawbridge right here. Okay. And um, that, that's a ramp button. Dig down in here and channel down and around here and then back up into here. Start hollowing out back here. And this is where the fort will be primarily, I would think. And then go all the way up to the surface and have like a bridge that goes down and then like maybe follows the edge of this somehow and then loops into here and that being the entryway. Then of course we could use pumps to like pump lava onto it and all other kinds of fun shenanigans. But you know. Not anymore. Ads are pausing game so it's fine. It's the, they worship the gods their parents worshiped. You know, Armok doesn't exist in the world, right? Armok is the omnipotent... Um, Armok is basically Q from Star Trek. Armok is an omnipotent being that is mentioned in Bay 12, ga Bay 12 games as games, but actually isn't present in any of the games. So in my headcanon, Armok is the player. We are Armok. Twitch chat is Armok. YouTube chat is Armok. Streamer is Armok. And I have a very important question for you, chat room. Is your arm okay? <laughs> if arm not okay, then we have a problem. If arm not okay, then we can't be Armok. I mean, I reference that Star Trek episode all the goddamn time. Because in my head canon, that is, we are all, like, Zoomers are almost at Jalad and Tengara. We are almost at that point. Because people speak in memes to the point where you're practically speaking in metaphor already. At least you're not strong, bad. Okay. Somebody help out Wolfie with them ads if possible. I just want these to match. The Burninator. The Destructor. Uh, 
Um, oh, trust me. <laughs> Metaphor is very apt on Twitch. Twitch has its own lingo. And you know what? I kind of love that. I'll slate. Basalt. I'm trying to decide what layer to start digging on. It's granite. I kind of want to start digging in the granite layer. Oh, trust me. The, the strangest thing to me about Star Trek is that all of these so-called aliens are just dude in a funny mask. <laughs> Alien? Oh, uh, give him wrinkles on his forehead. Alien? Uh... I haven't watched it in so long. It's a, it's a good episode. It's a good piece of sci-fi. Hmm. I always have a hard time starting volcano forts for some reason. How does that look to you, chat? This would also be a good place to build the big, like the beginnings of the fort in. I always end up just building around the volcano so original. Yeah. a little skinny. I'm thinking that this isn't the front door. This is like the side door. This is going to get a drawbridge in front of it, which I'll actually just plop here. That's not really going to be open very much. At least that's my idea. Is that it's not really going to be open very much. The front door is going to end up being like here, basically. I'm thinking like front door is kind of like a big walkway kind of around the edge of this or something that will just kind of go up along the edge of the mountain, maybe looping back on itself. I'm not entirely sure how we're actually going to fight in this fort yet, though. Probably that or make, ooh, okay, hmm. Counterpoint, what if this front door So I have a question. Do you want to upgrade it right now to a tier two sub, Big Bang? Or do you want to wait? Because you have two options. Um, I don't know when your last resub date was. No, it doesn't. Okay, first off, don't ever subscribe on a phone <laughs> because it's going to charge you the uh, Apple or Android tax based on which whichever store it is, which is an extra 30%. So first off, don't ever subscribe on a phone. That's just word of advice. Second thing, um, when you you wanted to upgrade now okay so what you can do here let, let, let me show you if if you go to twitch okay so this is this is this website called twitch you go to settings let me actually just make sure i'm not going to dox myself or anything stupid uh They hide that menu. Okay, never mind. I see where they made it. Um, so you, you go to you just go to subscriptions, click here, then go to mobile subscriptions, and it'll look like these. Except what you can do is then you can click um, change subscription or tier or whatever, or you can uh, say don't renew prescription. And then what you can do once you've said don't renew prescription is you can tell it to end your benefits now. And so if you end your benefits now, what that does is it then um, immediately gets rid of like your sub button and then you can resub. It's basically like what you do if you're pissed at a person and don't want to stay subbed anymore. So 
what if front door this? This already kind of has a ramp going up it. That wouldn't even be too hard to widen. What if front door this? Yes, says chat room. Okay, well, chat room approveth. At least front door for right now. Maybe not batty front door, but front door. Front door. Okay, so front door now set. This is side door. Maybe side door entryway go to right here. Uh, Bay 12 forms is down. Uh, we were talking about this earlier. There's a there's a post on bay12.com about it. Um, uh, Clino was saying that something about it like maybe not even being recoverable, which is concerning. That's why it looks off. Solar flare. Uh, did we have a solar flare? That, because that's news to me if that's the case. Weirdly symmetrical for me, but we'll go with it. Volcano with a little valley to funnel them through. It'd be really fun if, like, the bad guys have to come up this way. Or even, like, this way, and we just, like, dump lava into this hole right here. <laughs> like, just flood this whole thing with lava. Just boosh. Oh, everybody's planting seeds. Well, that makes sense. Something else about this fort. Because it is so freaking tall, and because there's no aquifer, making a minecart route to go from where I'm farming down in the bottom cavern layer up to here might actually be pretty doable. You don't really drown in lava. Well, I guess kinda I guess probably you kinda do. Isn't that more of a scalding chamber than a drowning chamber? I wonder if you could cause... Okay, so I'm going to say a lot of hypotheticals here. I have no idea what would actually happen. If you are pumping lava into a volcano and you throw a boulder through the lava with a catapult, does that make magma mist? I don't know, which is why I'm saying it out loud. It's unpleasant. We 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 get that much. <laughs> Sentient. We we know that it's unpleasant. I don't know, do I have an extra pick? Bedtime. Alrighty, you snooze good, Cease. Have a good sleep, Cease. Kind of? If you happen to know the answer, that's why I was asking. So I'm thinking about having little lava streams that follow these hallways. You've really got to get to bed? Get to bed, Stony. I'll see you when we see you, dude. Have a good nappy, boo. And sleepy time. I think this is going to be the Dwarven Hotels for the starts. Uh, four. One. Two. Three. And four. Ooh, I got an idea.
No, that won't work. Uh, will that work? Nope, that won't work. Hmm. There we go. That'll do. Bedrooms. What's everyone drinking? Water. <laughs> Nothing crazy enough today has happened for me to drink whiskey, so... Not a bad little... Yeah, water. I finished my coffee and it's almost 8 o'clock. Coke of cola. Ah. What do you think of my uh, Dwarven Hotel design? I think it looks kind of schnazzy. Travesty? Why is water a travesty? <laughs> I'm human, not dwarfish. Pear cider? It's pretty sweet. But hey, if you like sugar. You're three, three beers in, only going uh, to have one more, and your ideas <laughs> and your ideas may not be so sound. That's totally fair. <laughs> like the hotel? Sweet. All right, dwarves. Um, so I need, let's just say, nine beds. Maybe 10 beds. We'll make 10 beds. Did I make a... I did not. Okay. Let's just go... Carpenter. Dwarfs, can, can, can somebody... Okay, somebody's making. Astronauts. I've owned it for a while. Um, I tried it when it originally came out, and it was so, so, so early. I was like, well, I'm going to give this, like, three years to develop and become an actual video game, and I'm still waiting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's literally okay. No, that's that game's, um, I mean, when did I last play it? Hold on. <laughs> Let me find out. I mean, the next to-do thing on my to-do list is astronaut. Or isn't astronauts? It's um. Keeper RL. Happy New Fort Day. Astronauts, I played last in. Oh my. <laughs> September 9th, twenty twenty. So a day before it released into early access. And I have an hour and ten minutes, which seems about right. But cheers, lazy man. How have you been doing? This is going to get us some bedrooms. Which will greatly help general morale. Getting over a bad cold? Oh, that's, that's good that you're getting over it. Chat, can I get a round of beers for uh, Lazy Man? Not bad at the moment. When I played it, the only tutorial was a PDF file, which, while kind of cool in, old, in an old school way, um, not the kind of game I felt like learning at the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's uh, it, it seemed like more of a simulator than... A game, and I know that I'm somebody who's literally playing a game that's more of a simulator than a game, but um, I don't know. It, it, it's, it could be cool. I'd need to take a closer look at it. I do remember the original pitch being something that I wanted to play, so. 
Uh, we are in late summer, and I don't have a trade depot, so... Oh, boy. <laughs> Man, finding a flat space to build a trade depot is going to be um, not as challenging as I thought it would be. I didn't like Neo Scavenger. I bounced off of it pretty quick. Also, I don't think I'm going to get used to calling things goated ever. Like, I, I understand the slang. I know where it came from. I remember the origins of it. It's just a very bizarre thing to say out loud to me. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, like, ASCII was never a barrier to entry for me. Uh-oh. Hmm. Where the heck did you come from? Voracious cave crawlers. So if you've never seen a voracious cave crawler, not friend, no. Uh, it's a huge cave monster with hundreds of feet moving along the bottom of its long body in place of a head. It has an enormous toothy maw. I'm just more concerned about how it got in here. Oh, probably from there because I didn't finish blocking this in yet. No, not friend. That'll kill my elephant and probably most of my fort. So rip fort. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> we'll see if my one soldier can kill it. Does anybody else have any soldiering skills? Nope. Great. Well, we'll throw Alath the Hunter in here. And uh, hope that they both go get axes and can beat this thing to death. Bring out your dead. Wow, it's, it's a miracle. All of the elephant's wounds closed. I'm trying to keep the elephant alive long enough that I can get my dwarves here. <sighs> oh, wow. Teeth just went everywhere. It's elephant teeth, even. I'm going to give this uh, elephant the nickname... Um... Run away, dwarf. Or run away, elephant. Gotta save one minute. Eh, well. There goes the armorer, who's losing a fight to it. Yeah, no, we're, the fort's dead. Where are you? <laughs> You're very far away. Alath, where's Alath? At least Alath is down here. Toothless is running away from the thing. Alath gets up into fighting range with it and starts hacking at it. It is happy about the fact that it's getting attacked actively. Recruit attacks it, but it jumps away. The voracious cave crawler bites the recruit in the hand. And the game crashed. Um, I swear I didn't do it. New fort tomorrow, mate. It's new fort right now. What what's tomorrow in your in your reality? No, 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 no. Subtle scribe. I'm trying to think uh, if I if the save was before or after I started doodling. The entrance probably. I'm assuming we're done digging? Yeah, no, I mean, that thing was likely going to kill the whole fort. Well, not likely to kill the whole fort, but likely to kill a bunch of it. Right, well, that's great. Anyway, I guess we'll dig down. <laughs> Time to do all of that again. Hope you guys found that entertaining because we're doing it all again. Slightly sad, not gonna lie. Mm. 
block that one wall Whoa, where the cave crawler can do things. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> We're just hoping we can get it done quicker this time, too. Um, did I... Okay. Clockworks redeemed the peasant. Yes. And, uh, I made the peasant clockworks into the militia commander and we named the squad the law the hermetic law what well, we call it the volcanic law that's a better name the revolting i mean I'm always disappointed by the options I have in here. Hermetic Law it is, then. Armoth gives, Armoth Arma take it away. Yep. Yep, it is true. You don't need to catch up anymore. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Winning, I suppose. Also, another dwarf should be up. Caveman Doc, thank you very much for chucking out a five pack of gifts. Appreciate you, dude. I'll see you landed one on B. B shows up sometimes and says nice things and then leaves. I like B. All right, let's do blocks. Big Bang, what kind of dwarfist do you want this? There's not a lot to choose from, so pick a name or a dwarf. What dwarf do you want be? Or do you want to give? You were literally at the point where I finished blocking up the cavern. Well, I mean, it got exciting. We'll say it was a nightmare. Clearly. I'll take the miner at the top. Right. Risen. Big Bang is 79 years old and has a high kinesthetic sense. Is a member of the Coven of Glowing and the Asteroid Bear. Thank you very much for that Prime subscription. Uh, feels strong urges and seeks short-term rewards and uh, uh, feels a strong need to pay back any favor done, done for him. He does not he tends to not be swayed by emotional appeals and uh, he has a noticeable lack of perseverance. He, sorry, and he, he has a noticeable lack of perseverance. He generally acts impartially and is rarely moved to mercy, and he tends to avoid any physical confrontations. He works to square his natural tendency with his respect of martial prowess. He is somewhat quarrelsome, and he's bothered by this since he values friendship. He doesn't handle stress well, and he tends to be a bit stubborn in changing his mind about things. He doesn't often feel envious of others and rarely feels discouraged and doesn't try to get things done perfectly, and he tries to keep his things orderly. Uh, he tends to ask others for help with difficult decisions, and he is assertive, and he is quick to anger, and he generally acts with a narrow focus on current activities. Uh, chat room, could somebody skim back in the VOD and tell me what layer that cavern was on? <laughs> uh, Percy finds uh, the pursuit of skill mastery off-putting and does not particularly value the truth. And doesn't think one way or another about leisure time and dreams of raising family. Big, uh-oh, I put an extra space at the beginning of your name. There we go. Uh, he likes lay pewter and tiger iron and giant war warthog ivory, polar bear bone, and boots, and the words of the fragrant sheen and the glimmer... And fragrant sheen, glimmer, and when possible, prefers to consume bat ray and guava wine, and absolutely hates blood gnats. Thanks, a curious maniac. The reason, no, the, I mean, the reason I can do that is because I've been reading, like, the dwarven descriptions are all very similar right like there's similar lines of text so i only need to see like the first word of a first two words of a trait to know what it is just for memory because i've been doing this like when you stream this game 40 hours a week and you read descriptions out loud constantly you start to memorize a thing or two so i 
I don't know if I could be the guy who reads car copy. I mean, I, I, if I memorize them, I'm sure, but. It's like when you were read certain disclosures at work a little. I mean, sure. I mean, I'm at work right now, believe it or not. Good luck with the caves. Thank you. And you have a good night's sleep, dude. We'll be doing new fort tomorrow as well. Well, th this fort. Hope, hope, assuming things don't go horribly awry, we'll be playing this fort tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I should just train those elephants for war, like, right away. Like, right away. Right when I tab out. Find it. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna dig us a slightly different entryway, entryway so things don't look identical. Something like this, you know? Popping in here. Got a dwarf right here making nice blocks for us. Very nice of this dwarf. Yeah, I'm really curious about the healing magic thing. Like, that's something that, the, that I haven't seen many people talking about, and I don't feel the need to talk about it too much because it's like a thousand percent speculation, but... Watch there be a giant cave spider there this time. That would be something. <laughs> Golly gee whiz, I hope not, actually. Is uh, maybe the easier way of putting that. Also, I realize we're in an ad break at this exact moment, but it's gonna let it run. You're gonna grab some snacks to go with your beer. You're making me want a whiskey. Come on. That's tempting me. Uh, game crashed, Pele, so we're back at the beginning. You didn't miss anything, basically. <laughs> Which is okay, because the game also happened to crash while we were fighting with a uh, cave crawler and about to die, so... If anything, the crash may have saved the fort. So let's go up to here and make a bar block stockpile right there. It's no metal, but not that we'll need that. I like how both the dwarves fell asleep. Guys, come on. Okay, fine. <laughs> I was like, I just want to get these hauled out here. Okay, fine. This will have to do then. That'll be seed stockpile. Here come the blocks. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a little bit annoying that I have to redo it, but that's ah, okay. We can do it better this time. But yeah, if this fort dies, Killer Spud will do another new fort tomorrow. I just, I'm relatively hopeful that that won't happen. All right, we've, we've, Oof, got a weird... I'm assuming that was probably stuff pathing, but... Also, on the bright side, I, I do know exactly where to put all of these the first time. So, I guess there's that. 
Except this time I'm using nice blocks instead of other materials. That's where the cave crawler came from. All right. Afternoon, Undeath. I just have to wait. Oh, this can also go away. Well, I know exactly why it wasn't properly sealed. It's because I can't get to the edge of the map without building one at a time. I know exactly where it came in from. Like, don't, don't, don't even worry about that. I am well aware of the uh, location that it broke in through. And also why it broke in, it's because I didn't fill, finish filling it in because I'm tired. It's been a long day. We have been live for a very long time. Speaking of, let's just cut this down so I can just build that instead of doing it one at a time. Let's get This one is pretty high priority on the need to cut it off because there's a bunch of um, birdies, elk birds on this side. And then this over here can just be become uh, our water source eventually once we need it. Let's just make sure dwarves don't get stuck on the wrong side. What's that? Uh, it means that it's been satisfied, I think. Pretty sure that's all that we need to do for right here is just seal that off. That's sealed. And that's solid. Those are solid. That needs to be placed. But that's about to get placed. And it's just a matter of here. Here. Across here. And I'm pretty sure that's all of it. And this time it's color coordinated. No, are they chat are elk birds adorable I don't know if I would describe them as adorable <laughs> they're strange they spent you sent out so this is from the YouTube chat I sent out my barely trained spear dwarves to face a bronze colossus and no one died wow you what what, what kind of weapons were you using I would say you're pretty lucky um because they can be really really tough Kobolds are adorable. Sure. I admire their enthusiasm, but I don't know if I would describe them as aesthetically adorable. I like them more because of, like, the way their language works than anything. Okay, we're just waiting on the last few buildings to get constructed. Mostly just this one that needs to be placed. Uh, this is a new fort, and I haven't updated the goal, goal yet. Chat room, quick, give me a goal based on the things we've been talking about, and I'll copy-paste one that I like and paste it in there. Uh, no, kobolds have a weird language. Did I say elk birds? Kobolds. <laughs> kobolds speak gibberish. They have a 100% context-based language, meaning they don't understand what each other are saying unless they were there when the word was made up. I feel like an elk bird is like if a chocobo was really, really obsessed with Satan. I fractured both legs and then one arm in the first red tent. See, I've sent in squads of like only legendary dwarves and they've lost before. I think it kind of depends on the weapons. They had steel spears. Yeah, that, that, that would be why you did okay because you basically need steel to fight a bronze colossus. 
And because I pretty frequently play on maps where I don't have access to steel. Um, at least not immediately. If a Bronze Colossus shows up early, I'm basically screwed. If you have steel, I'm not, I'm less surprised now, but I'm still impressed. If they were like brand new military dwarves, yeah, that's kind of impressive. But yeah, I would, I would still say you're pretty lucky. All right, get the elephants down here. Um, let's go right here. And just do seeds. Should be pontomics. Pig, sweet, and cave. Also, we're going to be operating entirely on rock pots. Not a bad call, dude. They speak in memes and metaphor, sure. So, considering... <clears throat> I have a question. Are kobolds, like, the medieval D&D slash fantasy realm version of, like, the shit posters in the depth of Tumblr and Reddit? Then, if they speak in memes, none of them know what each other are saying unless they were there for the invention of the word. Uh-uh. They try and steal shit at random with no real goal in life, and, uh... They're often confused and get into fights with things randomly. And for me, it's it's less Zoomers and more like elder millennials, but... Because I don't think... Not, not to be weird to mean to Zoomers or anything, but I don't think they're like lurking on... Or rather, younger millennials, like late stage millennials, people like me. People in their late 20s, early 30s. Not quite Zoomers, because Zoomers are all on TikTok. Zoomers are the people you see doing Fortnite dances on TikTok. <laughs> and not the old man who's trying to be like them. Alright, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to toss that loom back in. Okay, so... We're caught back up, I think. I don't think there's any way for a cave crawler to get in here. I'm not seeing anything that I desperately need to double up on. I can, however, get rid of this. No, TikTok is the name of a Kesha song. That's my, oh fuck, am I getting old moment, actually. Was when, like, for, for the first week before TikTok really blew up, I genuinely was wondering, I was like, did Kesha come back or something? Why am I hearing people talk? Oh. It's always scary when you see a bunch of dwarves being marked as webbed. It's like, Ugh. Yeah, well, we need the hotel. We need to start working on the surface. Probably do the hotel first, actually. We're actually ahead of time as well. Let's get that built. I think we'll do a slightly different layout this time as well. Why not? Yeah, no migrant wave yet. We're 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 quite a bit ahead. And I also haven't started digging out the main front door, which is gonna be right here. Yeah. I 
We'll see you later, Mako Darkfire. Take care of yourself. Crolls run up to the Justice Works talking about skippity toilet and they take your socks and then do the orange juice, I suppose. But they don't actually take your socks. They run in and start speaking and then a random human stabs them in the head and goes, oh God, what was that? Anyways. If my younger cousins uh, did that at Christmas um, and they ended up getting stabbed in the head, I think Christmas would go way worse than it usually does. <laughs> Uh, 100k gets you the fancy play buttons. 50k means congratulations, I'm still a peasant. I don't even get a check mark. What <laughs> is in your head now? I'll just remember. That's Tarn speaking Cobalt. Can't hit 100k without 50k? The the thing that like just keeps me like doing like a triple blink, like really, you think that's that easy? Uh, is the frequency at which people are like, so, uh, holy shit, the crundles. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> look at them all. There's just a stack of crundles. <laughs> Eggs? Nah, I ain't open that up. Cave crawlers be lurking. Crundle party? <laughs> Ain't no party like a goddamn crundle party. Okay, actually, what I what I really need to do here is I'm just gonna put an animal training zone right here. And I'm just going to go to creatures. I'm gonna go pets and livestock. I'm gonna be like, wait. Yo. And uh wart, wart. Just just train those elephants for wart. Just just get ahead of it. Uh, same, same world, new sip. Dwarf Dragon. Actually, speaking of same world. Old Fort was all the way the hell over here. And, um, yeah, it no longer exists. <laughs> we kind of flattened it. We don't even know who these people are over at the Old Fort. As for over here, we are, we're part of the Veiled Halls. Uh, apparently... Goblins have taken over many of our mountain halls. Also, apparently we're at war with the Rack of Lobsters. We're at war with another Dwarven faction. Well, that's interesting. I thought I stole that artifact. Maybe they just haven't realized it's been stolen yet. Gosh darn, we're at war with a lot of things, actually. <laughs> This is going to be a real active area, I think. All of the um, green stuff is stuff that we are allied with. All of the blue stuff is stuff that is on our side. And all the red stuff is stuff that wants us to um, fall over and die, hopefully. Ooh. Dark Goblin Fortress with only 200 things in it. Interesting. 200 things and 75,000 scary things. Elves have taken over helixes? Oh, my word. An elven fortress? Beyond the economy! It's been us for a while. What about you? It's a dwarven town. Wow. It's also kind of neat. We're, we are... There's plenty of, like, elves, elven groups that we're allied with as well. But, like, people who we have knowledge of go all the way up to... Holy shit. Pick twigs? That's a lot of things. That is a weird sprite by Dwarven Mountain. Like, it almost, it almost looks like a helix. There's, like, nobody there, though. And it's also inaccessible. That's weird. Wheel... Wheel's Ankles is the name of that. Well, we are definitely in the center of the world, that's for sure. Also, shoutouts to this island that, from what I can tell, just has humans on it. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this this island only has humans on it. Do you think these humans know that dwarves exist? Uh, so it's it's an ankle, but there's an S at the beginning of it. So, um, wars can stop, but they can only stop during world gen, which means they can only stop while you are starting or ending a fort. But it's very unlikely. Better diplomacy is one of my biggest dreams for this game. Throw a carpenter down. Also going to need a still soonish. So something else that I was saying earlier is because this is such a gigantuan mountain and it has so much open space, I could very, 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 very easily just run a frickin' minecart all the way down to where we're farming and just bring our food up with a goddamn minecart. Blissfully unaware? <laughs> yeah, probably. I always love, like, random island that's just full of all humans or all goblins or something. Cheers, Isa. What else do I have? Guess we'll use the nice. I make 10 beds. The one problem that I have with my cavern area down there right now is there's nowhere where I can actually like grow trees because it's only one layer tall. So trees in order to grow need to be two layers tall. So I'm actually gonna need to fight out into the caverns and expand into the caverns a little bit in order to be able to get more out of the caverns. I can't, I, I, I think I'm going, I think I'm hallucinating. I keep swearing that I'm hearing the like combat sounds. You know what I mean? Like, do you ever just swear that you hear the combat amb ambience off in the distance? Anyway, uh, some migrants have arrived. So it looks like two of them. I'm just going to go up to here, and I'm just going to be like, plop, meeting zone. Let's see what we get. Nine dwarves, I think. Yep, Metob and Sodal. Different dwarves this time. Do you guys have families? Or are you two just barely passing acquaintances? Yep, they are passing acquaintances. Well, welcome to the fort, new guys. Me losing it? Chad, am I losing it? I don't think so. I mean, I, I do get auditory hallucinations. It's a side effect of the meds I take, so. And outside of that, I just get auditory hallucinations because it's called being, uh, well, a person with a weird brain. I don't know. I've been taking my meds, so I should be good. All right. Um, what is everybody doing? Making beds. Okay. Let's get you two off of that and get you two digging. So I can't remember exactly what layer it was. I want to say it was this one. That looks right. Yes, that does look right. I think there's actually one layer below, but that's fine. I also just need to make a food stockpile somewhere. You have exploding head syndrome? I get that when I'm trying to sleep most nights, yeah. I get it especially bad if I didn't sleep well the night before. Kind of got used to it after a couple of years of it. Maybe not the best thing ever, but... It's sort of like having sleep paralysis. Something else I used to get a lot, but not so much these days. It's like if you have sleep sleep paralysis the first time, it's fucking terrifying. The fifteenth time you have sleep paralysis in two in a two-week period, you're like, fuck this shit again. 
God damn it. And that's about it. Like, it gets better. It's always when you wake up. It's only when I'm, generally when I'm trying to sleep for me. Yep, that's a bit much for a bedroom. All right. Add to your the expedition leader gets it first. Has anybody here watched the YouTuber Carl Jobst or Carl Jobst or Carly Obst? Covers speedrunning stuff. Uh, he put up a video recently and there's a bit in it where he's juggling with his shirt up over his head and like bending his legs at weird ankles, at weird angles. And I scrolled down and the first comment I saw was Carl Jopes juggling with his shirt over his head <laughs> is my, uh, it, 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 is my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> and all I have to say is I hope that's my sleep paralysis demon the next time I get sleep paralysis. I get this feeling of being stabbed in the back while I'm trying to sleep sometimes. I used to get a lot when I was younger. Clockwork's in there. So I need some storage. Chat. What should I do with this big round room right here? Um, this year, so 521. What should I do with this big open room? I'm thinking storage. It could also be library. You could start it off as a library. Tavern with gem windows. What gems exactly? I mean, okay, there, there's gems everywhere. I, I will admit that. We don't need a tavern right off the bat, though. I think I just made the Death Star. <laughs> Shooting a laser. If you ever call me Papa again, I might have to ban you permanently in my chat. <laughs> Please don't do that. Um, can we build a submerged glass library? How in the world would I do that? I think I'm a little bit too tired to think about complicated concepts right now. Ask me that tomorrow. <laughs> Ask me that tomorrow. This is like Pac-Man dying. I'm trying to decide if I like this entryway or not, or if I should just cut this out. But if I just cut this out, this isn't going to... I'm not going to... Mm, how about this? Chat, option A on the left or option B on the right? Which one do you like more? Kind of leaning B. So this, this would be A. And then this would be B. This is a terrible A and a terrible B, but you know. That same B? Okay. That's actually a Galaga ship, but you know. It would also make sense to have bedrooms above the tavern in here. Trying to think. Well, okay. So, like, if I encase this area in glass, I could probably do that. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to think how I would completely submerge it in glass. 
I'm not gonna promise any massive mega projects until this fort gets rolling, but I'm not against the idea. You mean entrance on both sides of the stairs? What, like one here and one here kind of deal? Hmm. Maybe we'll do one there and one here. Well, obviously, yeah, we build it first and flood it. Kind of have to do it that way. And then I guess we'll do food storage over here. You guys are, like, constantly coming up with ideas for taverns. We're building a library for it. We should start with a library. This is going to be a library with a dining room. Quiet down with your partying here. Come on. This is going to be a library. And our militia captain who, like, hates knowledge is going to love it here. Library chat. Reading books. I don't know. I mean, plans change. <laughs> plans change. Pump the volcano and build fast enough to build. Wouldn't it be easier to just dump, like, pump water on the volcano and then slowly mine down into it? Dwarves do really like reading, yes. Problem is, you need books for reading. I'm just going to make a jeweler. We're in an ad break. Just steal the books. I mean, yeah. But they also can't, like, infinitely read the same book. So you need to have a progressively larger amount of books. Also, day after tomorrow is when uh, Qualies begins. Formula One. I'm excited. Very happy that we're finally back in Formula One season. I missed it. Very, very, very dearly. Want to make a library for it, but sometimes your scribes just don't want to write? Uh, younger Worlds, if you want your scribes to write. If you want unique, original books, Younger Worlds. Because there's a limited number of things that can be, air quotes, discovered in each world. And um, the older the world, the more things will have already been discovered. So in the last fort, there was never a point where everybody had a bedroom. So, I still need two more. Let's go down here and do this, do this, do this. I can't hear the, I can't read the words year zero without instantly getting ghost in my head, so thanks. At least it's a salt song. <laughs> well, that's inconvenient. That's also inconvenient. Well, okay. Someone's going to get a much bigger bedroom than everybody else. Because they're going to have to go this way. Higher value for your dwarf bucks.
There we go. Hotels. Same world, yes. Same world, in fact. Different faction. Pretty far in the other direction. So, very different kind of activities going on in the overworld. Oopsies, I don't want to make an instrument piece. Let's make two more beds. We're on a volcano and we, there's no wood and no water and no aquifer. But, the third cavern layer, layer, later? Hmm. Third cavern later, yeah. Third cavern layer has wood and water. But, we were able to embark with elephants. So, I have... Uh, two elephants. Where are they digging? Ah, down here. Makes sense. Well... This is going to be slightly sketchy, but eh, what could possibly go wrong? Kind of a lot, actually. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't really... I, I'm looking at this now going, I actually don't have a particularly easy place to put this. Um, go... Ah, eh, no, this is just going to be ugly. Could you be a war elephant? No. I named dwarfs. Called name a dwarf, not name an elephant. I realize I'm pretty hardline about that, but... It's the way I run my, my forts. Let me spend your points. Well, then spend them on a dwarf. Or don't. Unless, like, you're talking to Twitch to let you spend your points. I don't name animals because if I name one person an animal, then suddenly anybody who's an animal has to be an animal. Can be anybody who wants to be anything can be an animal, and then that that's a whole other thing for me to manage. But chat room, we are squeaking close to the point where we were at when the game crashed. So I'm just gonna do a real quick, 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 quick save because the game crashed on the like right before the end of this month. It was like the twenty something of, of Galena. Uh, Cameron Taylor, the way that we've been naming dwarves is you have to get a, a redemption here on Twitch, so I'm not naming anybody on YouTube currently. I might loosen up about that in, in the future, but I'm just, I'm tired of reading, like, 90 <laughs> dwarves a day, so we're easing it off on my end for a little bit. I don't even know what you're talking about, by the way. I don't know what LTTP is. Uh, I have no interest in doing a 50 hour stream to celebrate 50,000 subscribers on YouTube, but if you wanna do a 50 hour scream on, scream, stream on your own, on your own time, you're more than welcome to, in my honor. I personally would rather not die. What do you redeem on Twitch? There is a, a channel points redemption that's called redeem a dwarf slash gift a dwarf. That's what you redeem. And I do not let people name themselves elephants, which Nick Rick Elbert is very upset about, but I, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not even able to like in vanilla give people um, or give animals a nickname. If you give them a nickname, it doesn't show up. You have to rename their animal type. Except it's on cooldown. Well then, then why are you even asking? Ah. I was under the impression it wasn't, but I'm also not looking at my activity feed at all, so. Uh-oh. <sighs> oh, there's not that much. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, garbage tastes like taco stuff that dad did. Uh, magic cheese wheels un undulate rhythmically on toast for what? Unoccupied points? 
unoccupied pants, not points. Uh, once in, once in upon a volcano, the peachy derm base ate. I don't think those are words, but okay, all caught up. All right. Well, so far so good. Most of these dwarves are doing nothing. They're doing shit all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go stone worker and stone worker. Your life is ruined? Why is this? My life was ruined before I got born, so, you know. I didn't realize that they will just hang out in their bedroom if there's nowhere else for them to go. That's interesting. Pleasure near his own fine bed. Uh-oh. Get a room, dwarf. Jeez. Chat room, did you know that they will just, like, go sit in their own bedroom if there's nowhere else for them to go? Because I just learned this. And we're just going to make... Slate. Time you figured out how to marry them? They get married when they stand close together. I forgot to do a meeting hall. I'm pretty sure I have a meeting hall. Yeah, it's right here. Although it's a meeting area, it's not actually a meeting hall. Uh, let's just go down here and just make a... Hmm. It's because you guys keep yelling about gems. There we go. Now they have a place to socialize. Uh, no, it is not. The choose a duck rule, well, get here. Uh, show back up here at this channel on Twitch in 12 hours, and you'll see it. Or go to the beginning of the VOD. But simple answer is no. No, it's not. You guys are making me feel like I'm being a bad person, but like, it's, it's just, I don't want to do more work than I already have to. And keeping track of dwarves and naming dwarves and who already has a dwarf and who doesn't already have a dwarf is already enough. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, UGDP, why want dwarf? Just let me finish clicking on slate a bunch of times. Because I happen to like the color of slate. But uh, what kind of dwarf would you like, UGDPY? Uh, the animal personalities are not actually supposed to show. It's a it's a bug that people like enough that they've left it. Because it was supposed to be removed by the time it would release on Steam. But uh, when they were doing the early streams with Kitfox, like, um, I guess, November 22, um... Kid Fox's community manager saw it and thought it was hysterical, and so they decided to leave it in. I've never had a fortress that's, like, incredibly wealthy gem-cutting-wise, and I think this might be fun. Uh, you want to be the peasant down at the bottom. What's with people wanting peasants all of a sudden? Uh, U-G-D-P-Y. You have two lovers and a child? And you've left them all? Also, you worship every god? The hell is wrong with you? You always pick a peasant, really? Huh. All right. Um, you're a child abandon abandoner. Uh, he is unbelievably stubborn and will stick with things even if the most futile act... Uh, will he stick with even the most futile action? I will say this. If what you want is me to just read the personality of the elephants, I can do that. 
I'm just not going to name them. Uh, per he presents himself modestly and frowns on any flashy accomplishments, and he has a calm demeanor, and he is often cheerful. He tends to be swayed by the emotions of others, and he tends to not reveal personal information. He sometimes acts with little determination and confidence and often feels discouraged and does not inherit and is not inherently does not inherently wow is not inherently proud of his talents and accomplishments uh he scratches his ear when he's nervous and he needs alcohol to get through the working day and uh he dreams of crafting a masterwork someday and personally hates freedom and would crush the independent spirit whenever it is found sees competition is reasonably important and does not care about family one way or another but 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 but, 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 but clearly you don't a crazy dwarf uh, he likes lay pewter and indigo tourmaline, green glass and breastplates, and guinea fowls for their social nature and the words of the uh, certainty of direction, and the sound of the rhyming verse, and when possible prefers to consume alligator, shad, and tapir cheese, and long yam plants, and uh, cranberry wine. It's flies. Cheers, Brendan. Why in the world would I play a Nintendo game when I don't like nor play Legend of Zelda games? I guess I don't understand what that has to do with my namesake, I suppose. Oh, no, he, he's just going off to get a pack of smokes and another pint. Right. Duh. Of course. Oh yeah, true. He's just gone off to grab a, a, an extra a barrel of uh, a barrel of sunshine for the family. And instead, he got like distracted by dwarven ADHD, and now he's just like, you know, oops, I accidentally <laughs> embarked into a new fort. See ya, kids. Smell you later. Uh oh, seeing crows. But that's a lot of hungry heads. This threw me off again. I don't I don't know why the mini map takes a few tiles to update, but Oh true, his uh his his uh lover had a craving for some uh purring maggot milk. Promised he'd go get her some. So now we get the last few of these beds placed. And at least for now, that should put us at a level where everybody gets a bed. Well, we've already progressed further as far as bedrooms goes than the entirety of the last fort, so there is that. Uh, everybody's learning to be... Oh, hey, Anton the Glassmaker is a dabbling... Hammerdorf. Interesting. The raising a family personally values decorum, dignity, and proper behavior. Do you like the idea of the military, though? The military? Unbelievably stubborn and will stick with things. Often uh, cheerful, tends to be swayed. Hmm. Scratches. I mean, maybe. I'm sorry, what? What? How did Hungry Head get into the map? What? Punch the Hungry Head with the left hand, bruising the bone. How did... Okay, I'm suddenly very concerned. How the hell did the Hungry Head get into here? Oh, that's how he got in. They can fly. I never um, finished this. Also, did, did I not start a farm? I thought I did. 
I guess I didn't. All right, well, let's start a farm. The whole game crashing is going to be short-term goddamn memory loss. Clearly, yeah, no, definitely. Okay, so we're into the 24th. Well, we'll get that made, that done, and then the last thing. Yeah, there we go. Fine. This gets done, and then I can get stuff planting. And these can have barrels removed, because I forgot to do that. Fortunately, I only have two types of seeds, so it shouldn't be too bad. As a dwarf, you get culturally desensitized to it if you grow up with it. Drinking another animal's milk in the first place is pretty weird. Are we talking about dwarven milk right now? Because they don't come from dwarves, Bitterwang. They come from purring maggots. I love how you're justifying it in a way that reads like you're justifying dwarven milk as like, oh, that's weird. Why would I drink milk that a dwarf makes? No, that's not how dwarven milk works. <laughs> Trust me, it. Their chat's not joking when they say it's worse than you think. Mm, hold on. How does one milk a purring maggot in Fortress Mud? I'll be honest with you, I've never done it. Um, I think you use a small animal trap, and you trap one, you get it into a small animal cage, and then you m milk it? I assume? I think it's like extract from animal or something. <laughs> Some of the things I read in the YouTube chat just boggle my mind, chat room. I don't know. It's preference. There's no advantage or disadvantage to doing anything in Dwarf Fortress. It's just what you want to do or don't want to do. Well, I mean, I guess I would say that there's a disadvantage to just leaving bodies everywhere and that dwarves will go nuts. But, like, building style is kind kind of irrelevant, largely. As long as the dwarves' needs are met, it doesn't matter. I would also argue that there is not real any, and there isn't any real reason to like worry about min-maxing either. Like it's just not something that you need to worry about. Not screw up the tracks. Ali Astra, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. We've been on for a really long time. It's been kind of a long day, but I hope that your stream was good. Just digging some ramps real quick. So I can get mine carts up to where we live. In a in a hurry, you know? For various things. There's gonna be various different materials I'm gonna have to transport up to here. 
Everything from, like, wood to food. Well, that'll pop out nicely, right where I need it. I gotta complain to management. Um, how does that work exactly? I know. Hey chat, pay me twice as much in half the time so I can do six hour streams, okay? <laughs> Deal? How do you keep your dum-dums from getting squished by the minecarts? Uh, don't tell them to kick them and don't power them. Do I even have lunch breaks? I ate a sandwich. I don't take breaks, really. I, I do pause and eat, but it's like, it's time for me to stand up, take three steps into the kitchen, grab my sandwich out of the fridge, put it in the microwave for 10 seconds. I have this weird thing about super cold sandwiches. I'm not a fan. Um, I need them to be like room temperature. So I warm it up to room temp, uh, then immediately, like, what's the word I'm looking for here? Then immediately after getting it up to room temp, I give myself an injection after stabbing my finger and then walk back over and go back to streaming. So I don't really take a break per se, but I do eat lunch, yes. I mean, it's kind of the only defense plan, really. When do I do that? Clockworks. Can't say I've ever done that. At least not intentionally. As somebody who does not particularly enjoy ASMR, uh, I would feel bad if I did that. Nice that everybody has quarters, though. Wow, you are really happy, Arende. Why are you so happy? I look at them, and the first thing I see is annoyed after having a drink without a goblet cup or mug. Well, balls. If somebody made a compilation of me chewing and put it on YouTube, I would be very tempted to abuse the crap out of YouTube's takedown policy. <laughs> I wouldn't, but I'd be tempted to. Uh, rock mug. Rock. Um, it's polish six basalt on repeat. I think dropping 771 from one tile height, Miss Gen Fit. Why? I have a question. Why are you dropping 7 of 7 water? You just need two buckets worth of water, one layer beneath it. But yeah, I can. You can you can kill people with water pressure in this game pretty easily. It does kind of look like an elephant. Like a very angry elephant with a big red eye. Oh. <laughs> oh, are you asking if it can hurt someone? Because like it, it'll instant, it'll like make them think they're drowning for a second. I'm sorry, what? Okay. <laughs> Do need to dig down into this cavern layer a little more at some point, but not for the time being. I'll finish digging all that out. Let's do make rock blocks and just make slate. Got mugs. And I, 
kind of want to like pave this first, but I think I'll just do this. This is going to be food. Uh, no seeds, please. Well, actually, that's not true. No seeds that I want to plant, so all seeds, but no plump helmet. No pigtails. And no cave wheat. And no sweet pods. Everything else can go there, though. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a still. And just plop her down right there. And get off to it. This game could use like 45,521 more filters, but so yeah, I agree. <laughs> Although it is a grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, a supply caravan of the Veiled Halls is a welcome sight. Their eyes are alight with anticipation of inspecting the splendid products of your industrious craft stores. Take careful stock of your own stores. What these merchants offer might very well be the difference between a prosperous future and a slow and meaningless death. I haven't updated the commands yet. I'll update them tomorrow. Um, chat room. Although I, I will say this, Celeste, I've, I started the fort off with a, uh, with a gem cutters guild. We're already cutting gems. Actually, we're polishing rocks is what we're doing. So chat room, I'm going to do a thing. And that is point out the fact that it's 9 o'clock at night. And that I've been streaming for 12 hours and 2 minutes. Guess what? I have to turn the stream back on in 12 hours. So it's time to say goodnight. Uh, Twitch chat, say goodnight to YouTube chat. YouTube chat, I'm turning you guys off now. If you would like to raid with us over here on Twitch, pop over here onto the Twitch side of things. Otherwise, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific when they turn the YouTube stream on or like a couple minutes after that if that happens to be the exact moment that, um, you know, I'm waiting for a record to finish or something. But we're going to go raid over here on Twitch. So thanks for hanging out, YouTubes. Seven hours on YouTube and uh, 12 hours over here on Twitch. Not bad. Not bad. Got to turn in too tired, right? I'll see you when I see you. Take care of yourself. All right, friends. Ladybugs.